Hello all you beautiful people. How is everybody doing on this beautiful day? We have completed Lunar 2 in our, our, our last stream. I'm super happy. The game was absolutely amazing. I did not talk about the pros and cons. Um, if you weren't there, I did not talk about uh, the pros and cons of uh, Lunar 2 just yet. And also, we're doing yet another stream. What's, what's going on here? Well, basically, if you were here for the very end of it, um, there is an epilogue to this game. It's not very long at all, but I do, uh, we, I do want to play through the epilogue because there's a bit more, uh, to the game. And also, uh, we're going to be checking out the bonus disc, uh, disc 4, the, uh, uh, the making of Lunar 2. So that's what we're going to do, um, in a second. And if I sound a little bit distracted, I'm trying to, like, open up because I completely forgot to do it. Yeah, there you go. The, uh, the epilogue here is, uh, it doesn't tell you where to go, and you, um, you don't really know what you're really doing. All I really know is that I'm gra uh, gathering my teammates, but I do have a little guide up in the background because this is, like, one of those things where you have absolutely have no kind of, like, idea of what you're supposed to be doing in it. Um, but I have this in the background. I'm not really going to be using it too much unless I really just can't figure it out. Maybe it will get a little bit into, into, maybe it'll get a bit, a bit easier to find out when, uh, you know, oh, when I go over here, oh, oh, okay, I'm supposed to go over here. Maybe I don't need this guide, you know, but I have it in the background just in case. And also this is the wrong one. It's this one. So yeah. Um, we're going to be checking out both the bonus disc of the making of Lunar 2 and also finishing the epilogue here. Um, from what I took a quick glance at, I didn't really look at it, but I'm at the bottom of the list of the, the walkthrough. So, like, it really can't be much more. But anyways, right now what we're trying to do right now, while we're listening to this fantastic music, because this music is beautiful. Probably my favorite song in the game. Um, we are going to be gathering all of our teammates. So, um, one of our teammates is, uh, already with us. Uh, we have Lamina, but we need to go and find the others. Um, the thing is, um, this is going to be kind of difficult for me because this is, like, the hard part where, that I was just talking about. Like, none of the guides are also really helping because I opened up, like, three, and they just tell me details, like, written details, but... Um, I already knew Lamina is from Vayne, so she would be at Vayne, which is right here. That's why we saved in front of it. But we... Oh, whoops. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Oh. I knew that Lamina was in Vayne, so we went to Vayne and picked her up. Um, didn't know where Jean could be. She could be in like a two or three places. Um, but I looked and it's, it said that she's at the carnival. I'm, I, I, isn't that like in the top right corner of the map? I think... Um, and then also the, uh, um, Ronfars and, uh, Rakuli. I cannot remember for the life of me what Rakuli looked like. So, um, this is gonna be a tough one. And the one thing that sucks is, uh, while you do gain the ability to, like, teleport all over the place, you don't get the ability to teleport to places that you haven't been in the epilogue. So it makes things really annoying. So like if I settle down here, for example, and I'm gonna pull up the menu here. Um, it's Lucia's Pendant. You see, I've only been to Vane and Larpa because I thought he would have been in Larpa still. Um, Ronfar, but no. And then the three pla the three other places I was, I started out in the epilogue. <clears throat> and the thing is, I can't remember the, the name of every single one of these places. I know what Rakuli looks like. Um, this is Maribia. Um, I know what some of the names of the places are. Like, that's Maribia, because that was in Lunar 2, so I should know that. I mean, Lunar 1. I should know that one. Um, but some places I'm gonna have to walk without the Dragon Ship Destiny, which makes this a really big pain. Because I'm pretty sure at the very top right corner of the map, somewhere up here, is the Carnival. So hopefully it's not too far away. Um, but... Oh god, yeah, you see, look, we gotta go through all this. Um, I'm pretty sure the Dragon Ship Destiny might be able to take me up there some way a little bit easier. 
I don't know how far it is. Especially because I know that the carnival kind of threw us over, um, threw us over kind of, uh, some land and got us onto another plot of land. So, like, it's going to be difficult to find these places. Um, that is not, that's the tournament place. And this is the place with the, the guys with Master Lun trained at. And then you see, like, you can't really go through too much more. But, um, I don't think it's here. Where is it? Yeah, around here. You can go around. And, uh, I don't know what, what place this is, this little tunnel. But... I think in one of the story-related plots, it says that we're going to be going into some of the dragon ruins. I don't know. I don't know exactly which ones and stuff. So I, I believe that one was like the the blue dragon or the white dragon one. I think yeah, the blue one. So I want to at least have that one put down into my fast travel. And because uh, it works not just on towns but also on dungeons. Um. That's Neovain. That's that desert city. We're coolly somewhere around here. Um, because it was after this. So probably in this direction. And Rakuli is a really small town. The carnival, that's gonna be hard to get to. I think this is Rakuli. Yeah, this is it right here. <coughs> like I said, the guides aren't really helping me in trying to figure out how to get to these places. That's really all I need. From these guys is just to tell me how to get to these places. But yeah, this is Rakuli. I just gotta find Ron Far. We're gonna be going on an adventure with our teammates again. Uh, not here. Also, does, is that chest? Did I never open this? Oh, Maury's Bermite. Okay, that's new. I would have definitely have seen this. I know I'm not that blind. <laughs> Maury's Bromide too. Oh, then we missed Mori's Bermuda 1. Well, it's probably... We might have missed it, or it's somewhere still to be had. In Leo's footsteps. <laughs> I like that outfit for her. Uh, we gotta find which home is Ron Fars. Yeah, there you go. Hero, buddy, long time no see. Say, what brings you back to Rakuli? Oh, I see. The old ruins, eh? Why do you want to find them? Oh yeah, I guess I should have explained what the epilogue is about. If they don't explain it here, I'm sorry about that. And by the way, where's Lucia? Holy Moo Maker! She left you? Oh, now I never saw that one coming. No, no. That's not what happened at all, Ronfar. She had to go back to the Blue Star. Well, you know she loves you, don't you, kiddo? Yes, I do. For the sake of true love, I'll help anyone out. So are you asking for help? Yes, I need your help. Okay, I'm ready to help you out. I just need to say goodbye to Mari. Oh, Ron Far, off again? Dumplin, if he wasn't the greatest guy in the world, I wouldn't go. But he is, and I've got to help him out. I'll be back before you know it. Well then, good luck, sugar. Oh, good luck, sugar buns. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, hero. You got a hired hand in your party. Let's go. <laughs> Sugar, buns, and dumplings. They're already very well acquainted. Okay, all we're missing is the carnival where Jean is. Are we fully healed? Okay, I don't need that, sh uh, that uh, goddess statue. Um, So let's go ahead and save. But yeah, so basically the... the the gist of the epilogue is that uh, Lucia looked like she she had to go. She had to go back to the Blue Star. Um, but the thing is, we we want to stay with her. You know, obviously she's our she's the girl that we love. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to go up towards her um, to the Blue Star. She's like w um, way high up in the sky. She's not in our world, so we got to try to find a way up there. But right now, what we're trying to do is gather all of our teammates. Um, so that way we can go ahead and, you know, head up there. And, uh, the carnival was somewhere around here. 
Wasn't it like way up there? I know it's past this forest. I don't think it'll let me go up there. Oh, wait, wait, I can go out here. I didn't know that. Okay. Which is this? Is this the, the dragon? No, this is the beginning of the game, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Also, let me check something. Is there another way to get beyond this? Yeah, this is the beginning of the game. This is our uh, hometown. If I could get past this forest... I need to find a way to up get above that. Maybe I can go from here and up around the corner? But I think this is where I left off earlier, and the, and, uh, the ice blocks are there. I think. Okay, we're getting we're getting somewhere. I could swear I could have sworn that that right side right there is the uh, the carnival. It leads to the ice. Okay. Okay. Wait, where? Wait, what happened? Oh, we were able to just cross like that. Okay, I didn't know that. Let me go up here. That's the carnival, right? I think it was. So let's head in here. Yes, we found it. And Jean should be in the very, very back. Oh, was that a bro? Okay, I thought that was another bromide I missed. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled now. They could be in like buildings and stuff, but that's like not that's like not a priority for me anyway, so. Oh! Is that it? Eugene's Bromide 4. Jackie Chan eat your heart out. Marshall Aw. Is that that's hero? Getting beat by Gene. Alright, these are pretty cool. And dang, I'm on Gene. I only have Gene's from my 2 and 4. Gosh. Oh, you've come to visit, just like you promised. Not that I doubted that you'd keep your word. Wow, Gene. You know what? You've always looked best in your dancing outfit. Now, uh, I like the new outfit, actually. The, uh, the later outfit she got at the end of the game. Much more than this. It doesn't look bad. But the other one was just so much, so good that I just, I much prefer that one. Why, thank you, Ruby. I like this outfit, too. It's fun to get all dressed up. Where's Lucia? I promised that I'd do a special dance for her when we defeated Zophar. What's wrong, Hero? Did you have a fight with her? Your eyes are so distant. Lucia left. She returned to the Blue Star. And I've decided to follow her there. I need to be with her, Jean. Because I love her. Hero, are you sure about this? Well, you know you can always count on me, Hero. You want my help? Yes, Jean. You're a great friend. That's what I wanted to hear. This is gonna be just like old times, Hero. Excuse me for a minute while I go and put on some more something a little more appropriate. Is it the old outfit? Yes, there you go. And the applause, I like it. Alright. All we have to do now is to find a way to the Blue Star. If anyone can do it, we can. Let's go, Hero. Lucia is waiting for you. A better outfit. <laughs> <coughs> okay. And as you see, as you can clearly see, we got all of our teammates, but... The game does not tell you whatsoever what to do next. That's why I pulled up the guide. Um, so let me just exit this area. And let's save. Uh, so. Let me pull up the guide here. Okay. The caravan, we did all this. Um...
Okay, you can have Leo join your party. <coughs> Completely forgot about that. And also, I didn't expect it. Um, we gotta find- oh my god. I do not remember what is the Mystic Carav- uh, the Mystic Ruins. That is something I don't remember. I haven't been to it yet, have I? I should be going to everything, honestly. That way I don't... That way I make things easier myself. We gotta find these mystic ruins. I don't know where that could be. I'm gonna be honest, I really don't know where that could be. Unless it's this? Let me see. And then let's get out of here. The only way I can really tell if this is the Mystic Ruins, because it doesn't say anywhere, is to get out and see if I can teleport to it. Yep, this is the Mystic Ruins. It says, in here you're just going to keep moving until you reach the room where you saw uh, the movie of the first Lunar, and get Galleon's Bromide here. But if you continue onward until you reach the top of the, the very top floor, you'll see Leo there, and then he'll join you. And then you can also get Lucia's Bromide here. And you can leave. The main thing is just to get, uh... Um... Oh yeah, Mystere's Bromide. But the main thing is to get, uh, Leo. Um... I wonder what these... Wait, hold on. I wanna, wanna, I wanna know what these fairies say now that Galleon's dead ag again. So let's see, because these, these fairies... Um, they hailed Galleon as their, like, savior and protector, so I wonder what they'll say. Dear sweet Galleon has not been here for such a long time. I wonder why he neglects the beautiful garden that he created. <clears throat> because you don't have Galleon here anymore. I'll ask Nall to protect you. The blue dragon, the black dragon, and the red dragon will also keep you safe. So... Cheer up, okay? You don't know that he's dead. Galleon deceived Zophar and made Zophar believe he would help him conquer the world. But the Master knew all along that the power of humanity was strong enough to defeat Zophar. Galleon pretended to be Zophar's ally, but he was humanity's ally. The Master is a very good liar. Oh, hello. I'm glad you came back to visit us. Please accept this gift. It's a token of my thanks. Oh, this is how you get the bromide. I didn't even look at how to get the bromides, I just looked at how to get what I had to do here. I hope you like it. Alright. Um It's Lucia's Bromide 3, Blue Starlight. It's her sleeping in her pajamas? That we've never seen before? At least I don't think we have. Master Galleon was worried about a boy named Hero and a girl named Lucia. He said that Hero's feelings for Lucia would lead to a miracle, but that the but that the miracle still might not be enough to stop so far. He was not, he was very sad. Galleon said that. What happened to the strange girl you were with? I liked her. Did you have a fight with her? You shouldn't fight. Master Galleon says fighting is bad. She just had to go away and take care of an important task. When I see her again, I'll tell her that you said hello. So Galleon, this whole time, he was our ally, but he pretended... Okay, we're getting some background story here on, like, on Galleon. I like, I'm glad I stopped here. I wonder how many friends Master Galleon has. I'm sure the reason we haven't seen Galleon for so long is that he's been busy with his friends. Maybe the Master will bring his friends to the Guardian, and we'll all play together. Galleon was resurrected by the power of Zophar, the God of Darkness. And because of that, he could neither seal away nor destroy Zophar by himself. That is what he told us the last time he came here. And the final one. Are you going up into the Mystic Ruins? Another person just went, out, just went in ahead of you. I'm afraid it wasn't dear Galleon. He never comes to visit anymore. It'd be cool if we could add Galleon to our party. I feel like he would be pretty busted. Oh, I forgot about all this. This is the Mystic Ruins. I don't, I definitely don't remember a single, I definitely don't remember how to get to the top, but we should just be able to one-shot all these guys, so it shouldn't be the worst, it shouldn't be the hardest thing ever.
do, 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 do. Yeah, barely any XP or silver. Not really a good, not really a reason to fight these guys whatsoever. What level are we, by the way? Okay. Do, 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 do. I don't remember which area we had to go through or how to get to uh, the top floor. I do know that the next room you have to go to the very top, but I don't remember how, oh, where you have to go for this one. Probably straight from the bottom. I'm not quite sure though. Doesn't really matter who I target. All right. <clears throat> okay, we we'll landed up, ended up here. Okay, that was definitely the right one because we. We, had, we came from the bottom. There's only like two of these rooms. And I remember uh, the when you start from the top, which is where we're trying to go, uh, you would have to go straight down. And we came out from the bottom floor, so... Good, good, good. Boop, boop, boom. Nice. I'll take care of this. Should instant kill it. There you go. It's not the real magic spell, but it doesn't matter because these guys are all really low level. This is all old stuff. Alright, we gotta find a way to get to the top. The sides don't matter, it's the, the top side you wanna get to. Okay, this is not lead where I wanted it to go. I thought it was gonna go from like the left hand side. Okay. It's not gonna let me through. <laughs> I walked my character walked right into that. When you get off the when you get off those It only like uh it kind of makes you walk forward a bit, and it makes me walk right into the guy. Right into the mask. I'll take care of this. Do, 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 do. All right. Uh, hopefully this goes up. No, it doesn't go up. Where does the bottom one lead? Okay. Yes, we did it. I can rest there even if I didn't need it. A bromide. Galleon's bromide. Strange guy. Nice picture. Secret garden moment. Oh, this is our first ever full art of Galleon. I never even noticed he had the white and black underneath that. Rest in peace, Galleon. And there he is. Hero. Oh, new outfit! Well met, my friend. This is the most unexpected encounter. It's been quite a while, friend. You look healthy and strong. But your eyes... Your eyes are filled with sorrow. Why, hero? What has happened to you? Wait a moment. Where's Lucia? Why isn't she with you? She left, Leo. She returned to the Blue Star and she took my heart with her. But I'm gonna follow her there and tell her how much I love her. If anyone can achieve such a feat, hero, it is you. You will, of course, allow me to assist you in your quest. Leo, that would be wonderful. Don't mention it, hero. 
This is but a small payment towards an enormous depth of gratitude. Now then, hero, we cannot waste another moment. Lucia awaits you. A new outfit for for Leo on the epilogue of the game. Interesting. Well, I guess the other outfit was kind of like uh, his outfit of being one of the chosen Althina's guards. But those are all, as we know, Althina that he the Althina that he was worshiping worshiping was a fabricated, fake, um. Althina. It was just some normal girl dressed up as Althina, and it was all the the ploy of uh. Galleon and Zophar, mostly Zophar. Um, we can. I could have just used the pendant. I gotta see where I gotta go first. I don't even know where I'm going. Do 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 do. Um, <laughs> let's see here. Okay, we're going to Nota, which is very close to us. Um, we passed by it, actually, when I swam underneath it. Uh, around here. <clears throat> yes, right here. So there's a couple things here to note. If you go to East Nota, which is the side that we're on, if you check on the house on the second level, uh, you can find a gauze necklace. That interests me because I don't know what that is. Is this counts as the second level? So I think it's this one. But there's nothing here except the chest that I opened up a while ago. Maybe uh, maybe they meant the third level because technically this is the second. Right? Yeah, the second is the second. This is the third level. But this is just a bar. Where, well, hold on. What does it say again? Check on the house on the second level for Gauze's necklace. Maybe they meant a house. There's two floors of a certain house somewhere. Uh, I'm not saying that at all. Uh, chest I already opened. That's the bridge. Yeah, I didn't see that. Um, maybe they meant this. Maybe I gotta talk to someone. But there's no one here to talk to. I'm examining everything just in case. Unless this gauze, is, this gauze necklace is something I picked up a while ago. Uh... I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be, a, it would be, it would have been something old, and it would have been on one of the girls. I don't know what it's talking about here. Uh, regardless, um, it's in the same building that, to the person I gotta talk to that would tell me about the Dragon Eye Jewel. Really? Did they mean to say West Noda? Because I know this is only one floor here. <clears throat> I think they might have meant West Noda. Because this is East Side. Okay, let's look around here. Um... Is that- oh my god, that looks like Ramus. Oh no, it's not. That looks like his character model. I was like, what the hell is Ramus' son doing? And these always have one floor. This is Noda, right? I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. Uh... <laughs> uh, 
Okay, I... No clue. Take me back to the other side. Um... In the third level, there'll be someone who will know about the Dragonite Jewel. Let's see. Um... What's that? You're looking for the Dragonite Jewels. You know, my grandpa told me a few stories about those gems. Really? Yes, indeed. Gramps had a million stories, and I enjoyed every one of them. I really miss the old goat. But I digress. Let's speak again after the wedding, and I'll tell you what Gramps told me. Wedding? He'll tell you after the wedding. Uh, he'll tell you a story about it. Now head to the house at the bridge, and you'll see Julia here. Hold on, what's this about the gauze necklace? Was it that... I don't know. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. <clears throat> I'm just gonna move on with that. I don't even remember who Julia is. Is it this? Oh yeah, well, oh yeah, it was a Romeo and Julia or something like that. It was a play on Romeo and Juliet. What a beautiful dress, Hero. Have you ever seen anything so pretty before? Do you really think so? Thank you very much. You and your friends are travelers, aren't you? I would love to join you all on your adventures. I would love to leave this place behind, now and forever. May I ask a favor of you? A very important favor? Of course, what's the favor? Thank you so much. This message is for a, nam na a man named Kyle. Ooh, Kyle from Lunar 1. If this is the same Kyle. He lives in West Noda. Tell well, I mean, Kyle should be dead at this point. Tell him that... Tell him that I'll never forget him. My name is Julia. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, she's running away. Um... So we're gonna find this Kyle guy. If I recall, there was a Kyle somewhere on the top. I don't. I don't remember. Well, let me see what the guide says. Now you'll go to West Noda and go into the pub, and you'll see Kyle drinking at the. Oh, it's the guy I thought who Ramus was. It's Kyle. Also, give me a second because my glasses are really dirty and it's really bothering me. Give me just like a, a quick second. Hold on. Okay, I am back. All right. Leave me alone, I said. It now get away from me! I don't want to talk to anyone. Not ever again. It, ever. I don't want to hear that. I'll get over it. I'll never get over her. I'll never stop hurting. It, I don't know who this guy is, Hero, but he can't be Kyle. Let's keep looking around, okay? I knew she was good for me. I knew she was too good for me. It, I never had a chance with her. But I know she loves me as much as I love her. It, I'll love Julia now and forever. Julia? So this is Kyle. Uh, excuse me, Kyle. But Julia asked us to give you a message. She said to, she said to tell you this. Kyle, I'll never forget you. She... She did? She did, Kyle. So what are you going to do now? I... I don't know. Oh, Julia... Oh, I gotta pick something here. Um, all you can do is give up. Oh my god. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't want him to pick the second option because I want Julia. Uh, she's, uh, I believe it was like a, a, a tri, like a, it was like a little love triangle. Romeo and Julia were in love with each other, but then there was Kyle in the mix. And I think she's trying to, like, run away with Romeo, if I recall correctly. Um. But, uh. Yeah. I, that's a. It's like, uh. I wanna. I don't wanna pick the middle option, because it sounds like, you know. Well, what, what am I waiting for? I gotta go after her. 
Like, you know, that kind of thing. Just not what I'm trying to make him do. <laughs> so, time will heal your wounds. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that cliche about a million times today. And I hope it's true. But I already know that I'll never forget Julia. She lives in my heart and in my mind. Okay. Maybe I gotta pick the other one? Uh, let me see what it says. Oh, you're not giving up, are you? There you go. I guess, I guess that, that was what you had to do. It's not over yet, Kyle. You can't give up now. You can't give up on love. You can't give up on love. You can't give up on Julia. I don't want to give up. I have to give up. He's marrying the mayor of West Noda. He can give her anything she wants in this world. All I have to give is my heart. And what makes you think she wants any? She wants anything else? Love is the only thing that matters. Do you really want? Do you really want to live your life knowing that you could have had and what you gave up? Knowing what you could have had and what you gave up. Answer me, Kyle. Is that what you want? Or do you want to be with Julia? What do I want? Of course I want to be with her. I love her more than anything else in this world. That's what I want to hear, Kyle. Now come with me and we'll tell her exactly how you feel. Oh no! The wedding's already started. I'm not going to make it in time. What are you saying, Kyle? Didn't you just decide that you weren't going to give up? Besides, I guarantee we'll make it to the ceremony in time. Hero, are we going to do what I think we're going to do? Of course we are, Ruby. It's the only way to fly. Come on, let's go. Alright. Oh, in the middle of the bridge. Wow. You could have definitely made that. If it was some other town or something, I would have been like, okay, probably not. Today is an auspicious occasion, citizens of Noda. You are to witness the creation of an eternal bond between Julia and Romeo. And the restoration of the bond between East and West Noda. The time has come for... I already asked you to admit your dreadfully dull oratory and skip to the vows, preacher. But don't make me ask you again. I want to start my life with Julia right away. Understand? Uh, of course, sir. I apologize for the miscommunication on my part. It won't happen again. Mayor Romeo, do you swear on your eternal soul to love Julia in this world and the next? Of course I do, Preacher. Julia is one of my most prized possessions. Uh, very well. Julia, do you and your eternal soul... Do you swear on your eternal soul to love Romeo, Romeo in this world and the next? <clears throat> I... Uh, I, I swear, no, Julia. Oh, the dragon ship destiny is literally a dragon. I never noticed that. Don't do this, Julia. Don't deceive your heart and doom yourself to a lifetime of regret. Kyle. I'm sorry, Julia. I'm so sorry that it took me this long to find the courage to tell you how I feel. But now I want everyone in this world to know that I love you with all my heart. I want to wake up next to you each morning and fall asleep with you in my arms each night. I'll spend my lifetime making you happy, Julia. All you have to do is come with me. Please? Oh, Kyle. I've been waiting so long to hear you say those words. I love you too, Kyle. Hold me tightly and kiss me deeply. She jumped all the way over there? That's not going to help East and West Noda uh, relations, <laughs> relationships. I don't, she doesn't care. She, she wants to get the hell out of here. Hero, without your help, I would have lost Julia forever. You saved me from making a tragic mistake. Thank you, Hero, for everything. You don't have to thank me, Kyle. I'm just one love-struck guy helping another. I can't express my gratitude to you in words, Hero, but perhaps this gets... This gift will, su will suffice. Rememberizer crystal? I hope you find this useful. I don't know what that is. Isn't it beautiful? It's called the Rememberizer crystal, and it uses special magic to, s to store memories. 
How does it do that? It's simple, hero. Whenever you visit a location that holds vivid memories for you, the rememberizer shines and your memories of that place that place are stored within it. Then you can look into the rememberizer and relive those memories whenever you wish. When Kyle and I, when Kyle and I were apart, I used the rememberizer to ease the pain in my heart. I hope it brings peace and warmth to your heart as well. Thank you, Julia. Well, Julia, I suppose we should return to Noda and try to talk to your and try to talk your father out of killing me. I wish I could laugh, Kyle, but I think you're closer to the truth than you realize. Thank you, hero. Yes, hero. Thank you. Julia and I will pray for you to, to find the same happiness that you have brought to us. Everyone's falling in love and getting with their loved ones, except for like, <laughs> except for Hero. Well, I mean, I guess except for like Jean and like Lamina as well. But like, there's a massive like ton of people in this game that are just in love with each other. All I have to say is that I hope no one tries to break up their wedding. Huh? Look, Hero. The crystal is shining just like Julia said it would. There must be a memory inside of it. Let's see what it is. Okay. Oh, I have a lot of this to be discovered. En route to Pentagulia? Or are these just like... Can't tell if I'm going down or not. Are these like actual cutscenes that we've seen in the game already? Let me save and put a state save here so I don't have to rewatch it in case. In case it is and I can't skip it or something, you know? Oh uh, yeah, it is. And I'm stuck here. <laughs> and you're stuck there. I'm glad I did that. Okay. Pretty cool. A way to check out previous FMVs. Uh, I've, if that is FMVs, it's probably just maybe just cutscenes in general. Um, do, 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 do. It will store FMV of the most important events of the game. Yeah. After that, you'll you'll be able to control the party, examine the rememberizer if you want. There's one file where Lucia is singing on the dragon ship. After that, leave the dragon ship and head for East Noda. And talk to the man again. Yeah. I knew what I had to do, but I just wanted to read it. Just in ca just again, just to uh, not miss anything. Alright. Off we go. East Noda. And then the guy is right here. <laughs> oh no, it was the guy on the right. My grandpa once told me a story about the Dragonite Jewels, and I'm sure you'd like to hear it. Gramps was headed back to Noda from a business trip in Azado, he made camp in a thick forest. But while collecting firewood, he stumbled into some old ruins and found the Dragonite Jewel. That's not much to go off of, oh gosh. I'm glad I pulled up this guide. Um, it'll tell you about an ancient ruin near a thick forest near Azado. Leave Noda, board the dragon ship, and head to Azado and go to the water ruin. Uh, once again, I don't know what Azado is. So, uh, yeah. Fun. It's not a place I've visited already, right? I should definitely be going to every single location and just going and entering it just so I can have it down in the map. Because I thought I would I would just be going to a few key points and then I'd be going to where I gotta do. To doing what I gotta do. And th then that'd be it. But like, no, I'm going to places that uh... A couple... A number of places I've been to already. Um... What was the name of the slow, uh, the snow town? Not the slow town, the snow town. I don't remember what Azado is, so... It's tough for me to remember any of this. This town was... 
Zulan. Azado, wherever you are. It's in a place where a thick forest is. There's one place I know that has that. Back at the beginning of the game where we were earlier. Okay, what town was this again? Okay. Yeah, you can't use the pendant inside the town, so the only way I can really tell the names of these places if I exit. It's the car, okay. And I don't think there was anything up there. Um... Mystic Ruins. Up top here is the Carnival. Yeah, I remember you... It was just to go to Noda. Um... Look around. What is this place? Oh, this... Okay. Would there be a name for that location? Water Ruins. Oh, wait a minute. Um... Go to the water ruins. Inside the water... Inside, the water will be drained and you'll be able to enter the ruins. Oh! So this was right. Why does it say go to Azado? It, it just says go to the water ruins. Look here. Okay, the memorizer is glowing. It sure is, Ruby. <laughs> and he knows that it could be. Hey, check it out, Ruby. Not that the water's drained. Not that the water's drained the way we can get into the ruins. Okay, awesome. So let's go through this. And if I know anything about uh, post games in any game, I know post games are always difficult. So let's try to get a bunch of XP and everything we can get. All the stuff we can get. We want to get tons of level ups. These guys all look very scary. Oh, but I remember these guys are terrifying because they were strong. Um, so what do we got here? No one's weak to fire or ice. Uh, or wind or lightning. Or earth. Okay, so there's no weaknesses here. That's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna still throw out crematorium. It's how much is you no know, free smash? It's cheaper. You know, yeah, and I forgot Leo's here. Why do I keep forgetting that? Okay, these guys are fast, and they hit really hard, really hard. What did I just finish talking about uh, when I said that post games are always difficult? I don't know if there's any better armors and weapons out there, but I might need that ASAP. And thank goodness I did a free smash AoE. I'm gonna need that. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need heals. Hello, you beautiful person. How's it going, Zinzai? Yeah, Leo White Fang. He's really good in this game. Uh, he should dive. Target him just, just to be safe. And, uh, that should be... Should be it. Oh yeah, I forgot to heal! Oh my god, I forgot to heal. Nice crit. I totally forgot to heal. The XP here is amazing! 
Okay, so we'll definitely get we'll definitely get our level ups here. Uh. Go ahead and put all this up. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully you're doing. Hopefully everything is going well for you, Zintai. <clears throat> um, I know you had some fun in. I know you had fun in uh, California. As I saw, you were playing Dance Dance Revolution over there. Oh my god, everything hurt. Any any single turn, any of our any of our characters could be killed. If I don't have them fully healed, I'll literally just have dead teammates. Got the scroll leg muscles now. <laughs> yeah, I was never good at that in real life. I'm pretty good at rhythm games when I'm playing on a controller or something. But I was never good at I was never good at doing that in real life. All right, we're gonna take these fights a little bit slow. I would definitely end up being uh, end up using quite a bit of my. Uh, MP for Ronfar for these heals, because I'm gonna need the I need those. You sucked a month ago in, in Dance Dance Revolution, but I grinded it. You can get better at Dance Dance Revolution with you. Okay, what the hell are these things? These things look scary. I'm afraid of that thing. I am very much afraid of that. Now, how about we let her attack? You can do that. And then he can do a uh, Grizzle Blade. <laughs> yeah, the only, t the only real time I really actually played Dance Dance Revolution like that was, uh... <clears throat> Growing up, I still have it in my closet somewhere at the very top of my closet, hidden. Um, but I, I had this like thing growing up. Um, it was like this uh, dance and revolution mine. kind of like knockoff kind of game. Where back in the day, they used to like sell a bunch of like dance mats with like their own games in it that you could like play. And I had like a I had a game on that. I don't remember what the hell it's called. Um, let me, look, let me see if I can see the name of it from the angle I have. Oh heck no, I'm not going to see the name of that. That thing is way up there. There's no way I'm going to be able to get to that. It's at the very top of my closet, hidden behind uh, a bunch of my boxes. But yeah, I used to play that growing up. It was really old though, like it had SNES style pixel graphics. Kind of like this, in a way, honestly. And yeah, we're getting wrecked out here. I hope I have a lot of healing items. I kind of don't, because I used it all. Uh, I should go to whatever uh, late game area and just buy a bunch of healing items, because what the hell, man. I really need it. We're being obliterated out here. Okay. Well, with the struggles that we're starting off with, it'll slowly get better as we level up over time. I don't know if we're gonna find, uh, I don't know if we're gonna find new weapons. But, at the very least, we'll, uh, 
we'll get a level up. Jesus. The damage is just so high. Taste my anger. Good damage. If I ever use that skill, I should never use anyone else's skills, because that does so much damage. Hero levels up and get a plus three physical attack. That's nice. Real big, real big stat increases right there. Agility two, wisdom two, plus one everything else. I'm, I'm kind of hoping there's no crazy powerful final boss um, at the end of this epilogue. And I, I kind of hope it's just easy, <clears throat> you know, easy, easy breathing. Um, from here on, you know, outside of these dungeons, make this like the hard part of the game. But I don't want to struggle anywhere else, please. Already got an outfit. Oh, it's Leo's. Oh, well, Leo gets a buff. Oh, so I can put more. I can put stuff on Leo. I. I, oh, I should. Let me see. Um. Let's see, Leo. What would be good for you? Uh. Your, def your physical defenses are incredibly high. You don't need that. Your luck would be amazing to be increased because you hit super hard. Um, so giving you crit rate increase would be amazing. I like Lure's damage of elemental magic. Um, his magic defense is terrible, so that helps it. And, uh... <clears throat> um, help further increase the magic defense. And as for crests, this might be difficult. Um, he has very low MP, so do not put these stuff on. Thunder, speed, that'd be really good. Speed. Loses wisdom, who cares? Oh my god, his range can be un unlimited. You can have an unlimited range Leo. Um, okay, that's pretty impressive. Uh, I like the healing crest, but if I recall, I, I used it one time. It only took like 2 HP or something. Um, uh, we'll just increase his agility. Also, with Ron Far, I've been thinking about... uh. Putting him with the white dragon crest. Um. Like that. Um, because the white dragon crest. Um. I get protected from one spell. And I was, I was looking back, and I was like, you know, I could have used that White Dragon Protect in that final boss against the Zophar. I would have had to use it every turn, though. Um, so, magic would have been extremely draining, but it would have paid off. My uh, Jean doesn't look like she's doing much damage, but it's just that the uh, the area we're in is crazy powerful. All these enemies are strong. I resisted fire and it did 66 damage still. Victory is mine. And then they hit me for 184. Those guys are threatening as hell. We gotta be careful about those guys.
what I'm happy about is that this game is uh, generous enough that uh, even when you're, even when a teammate uh, falls down and dies like Gene did, they still get XP. I like that. I like that a lot. And I'm always scrambling like, oh, I gotta pick them up, I gotta pick them up. Like, they're not gonna get XP. That's why I'm always scrambling to do that in games. Ron Far levels up, gets plus two physical attack, um, plus two wisdom. And learns Cleansing Litany. All allies are cured of all conditions. Okay, hopefully we find tons of armors and and mainly armor. Weapons can come later. Let, let me hit harder later. Let me please just get some defenses to help us out here. Saints clothes, another armor. Whoa, I just called it. I was just somehow how I wanted it. We have another Dines armor. Oh, this is it's Leo's armor. Never mind. Wait, Leo also had Dines armor? Leo had Dines armor? The whole time Leo was the whole game rocking Dines armor? Interesting. That is interesting, and I, I just noticed. Dine is the, uh... Dine is a very important character in Lunar 1. You don't ever see the character at all, I don't believe. Maybe in an FMV, but... You don't... He's not a playable character because he's been dead, even in Lunar 1. But he was the first... Dragon Master. So... You know, he's gonna... He's super important in that regard, because he's the one who, uh... Kind of started all of this. Not the bad stuff, but he was the first person uh, to, like, you know, be with Althena and all that sort of stuff. Luckily, we killed them because I they all like triple teamed my my hero. Gene levels up and gets. Uh, Plus two agility, plus one everything else. Wow, that was a terrible level up. Lamina gets, uh, plus two wisdom defense, plus two magic defense. Okay, I can't get anywhere. All these places are barred off by the water. Um, let me save before I end up dying to something. Okay, so where am I going? Are these buttons or something? Oh, they are! I drained this one. And then this one? I drained another one. And then that one... And then there was a button here. Where did that even drain? Oh, there was one down here. Okay. The ones in that the water here don't have anything, right? Okay, no. Oh, we're already out? Heading deeper in. Let me check. Let me check something there. Was there nothing there? Okay, no, there was nothing there. It's, it's all good. Okay, so we got these guys. Oh, good lord. Here is this that wow I hope these guys aren't very fast Hopefully my hero and some some other characters of mine can go first This. 
they are kind of fast. They do so much damage. Come on, let's do that freeze smash. Oh my god, every single fight someone's gonna die. Every single time. Alright. Will I reach? No, I won't be able to. Wow, this guy had one. These guys have a decent amount of HP. It survived all that. It survived the free smash and the two hits from Ron Far. Why did I make her do... No, I made her do normal attack. Never mind. I was about to say, why did I do freeze attack? Uh, fr uh, freeze smash again. All right. It's all baby steps in this dungeon, because this dungeon is rough. Dungeon's really rough. Okay. My Jesus, hero hits so hard. And they hit hard too when they crit me. Victory is mine. I'm glad most char most of the enemies here only attack one time. All right, they should all die here. Hero can go out and go take those guys out. She could finish that guy off, and uh, we're pretty much set here. Six thousand two hundred sixty XP. That's a lot of XP from these fights. XP is amazing. Hopefully, we can hurry up and go through the loop of. Uh, we can go through the massive gap that we have uh, in between level ups and go right back to leveling up again because I need it. There's quite a hefty gap from when I level up to, uh, to getting to my next one. It does take quite a bit of XP in this game. Okay, four of these guys. Let's throw a blue dragon fist. Look at the damage. The double crit. I did a blue dragon fist so I can prevent most of these guys from blowing us up. I'm sad he didn't target the bottom one, the one that ha hadn't even gone yet. Also, let me definitely rebuild. How much silver do I have? I think I had a ton, so I probably shouldn't even have to care about that. Uh, yeah, I have so much. But I was gonna say that, uh... Um... So let me get a ton of silver, so that way when I, uh... Go to a shop and I splurge on a bunch of healing items. It won't be so rough on me.
All right. You guys are fast. You're faster than Gene. Luckily, they're not doing the crazy uh, HP absorb attack. God, Gene, you don't hit hard at all on these. You don't hit these guys hard at all. They don't have that much XP. I mean, much HP. There you go. Thank you for ending it. Yeah, get used to me going into the menu after every fight to heal. And get used to hearing this healing sound effect, because I'm going to be doing it a lot. This place is actually really difficult. Why does nothing get you get affected by concussion sword? Come on. Why does Hero's eyes turn like that when he's casting? And Jean's dead. One less DPS to, uh, to throw at these guys. Less damage. Dang, I didn't think I would need to be able to. I didn't need to use my free smash, but that that wind cyclone attack is pretty bad. Um, yeah. Hero, you're not built for magic. There goes Hero. Thank you for the crit. And we this time we had two people die. Jeez. Uh, How much is a full restore? 12? Eh. All I need is two heals to get them some, to some degree of where they were. Two and a half heals is pretty much what I need to get them to like full heal. I don't need three heals. Do this. Taste my anger. As you got a bunch of enemies here, and I don't like any one of these guys. And now I learned that that guy can paralyze you. And he has tons of HP. 240 damage. Okay. Yeah, these these shadow enemies are definitely the biggest threat in this dungeon. These shadow enemies are the biggest threats inside this dungeon. And it's still alive. That, that Gorgon thing is still alive. Jean does not output much damage at all to these guys. At least she killed it. 7.7k XP. That is extremely high. For a random encounter that... Uh, well, for a random fight in a dungeon, that's extremely high. Okay, here's a button. 
And there's a chest there. Hopefully some more armor or something. Because I... M armor. No weapons. I, I really just need to heal. I really just need the fence. I'll take damage increases later. When I can survive attack. You know? Okay. Sage's robe. I like that we're getting defensive armor. I need it. Alright. We press that button. Two chests here. Berserker Claw. And a Dragon Helm. A Dragon Helm can go on Hero. Anyone else can equip it? No. And then a weapon for Gene. I'm liking that this dungeon is having a bunch of chests in the, uh, throughout the dungeon. I like that a lot. Because I am, like, desperate for any bit of help I can get right now. All right. I think I saw another chest there, I think. Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's hope for the best on this one. They they have so much HP and damage and speed. Victory is mine. At least they didn't mute Lamina. And let's get this guy first. The shadow is like, they have too much speed, so I don't want to get hit. Should have did the uh, AOE heal on this one. All right, these guys have a ridic. No, 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 no. These guys are not the ones with the crazy HP. It was the uh, eyeball enemy, the Gorgon-looking enemy. At least one of them wasn't able to attack. That one's dead. Grizzle Blade and Free Smash coming. Hopefully this takes them all out. Oh, and Ronfar hasn't yet to go. Okay, these guys don't have that much HP. I shouldn't 
If I'm gonna use Grizzle Blade, I shouldn't need to use a Free Smash. Just one good AoE skill is enough. And Leo levels up. He gets a plus two physical attack and uh, plus two wisdom. Okay. Get these heals going. Nothing there. I just want to make my way to any one of these, to any one of the chests that we can see. So we know where one is, at least. These guys need to calm down. Their, their damage is too high. I keep repeating that, but like, it really is just way too high. It's kind of annoying when I play a post game of any JRPG and they make the enemies much, much stronger than anything. Like, they're supposed to be just slightly stronger. You know, kind of like if you were playing through the game normally, the next dungeon will be just, you know, slightly stronger than the previous dungeon. Like, like that. These post games and JRPGs, they always significantly increase the damage, or increase the difficulty, I mean to say, of the enemies that you're going to start seeing. And, like, the thing is, like, it's not just a tiny increase in their stats, like, a little bit higher. It's, like, a lot higher. It's always, like, double uh, what you would normally see from... Double the strength of something that you would normally see uh, in a dungeon that would be, like, next in line for you to go and visit. You know what I mean? It's like you skip the whole dungeon. It's like it's like skipping a whole shop full of weapons and armor and you just went on ahead. That's how it feels like when you go into this. Why is everything Concussion Sword is terrible. Nothing gets affected by this thing. I'm using Catastrophe on this one. Oh my god. Mega damage. Mega damage. I forgot she said that. And of course, the reason I okay, there you go, nice. The reason I was targeting that guy was because he has just way too much like uh too much HP. A life jewel, nice, 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 nice. God, I don't know what I don't know if there's like a boss at the end of this, but oh gosh, I'm gonna just use it. I did not mean to heal Gene. Whoops, that was a waste.
All right, just get the shadow guys out of here. They just hit so much harder than anything else. And they're just super fast too. With lots of HP, it's like, they're just, they're just really strong. I really hate that attack. It killed my Lamina, oh my gosh. No free smash. And those guys are annoying too. They do the stupid flashbang attack. Um and it kills me. Kills me watching it. But they're not the craziest, they're not the biggest threat. By a long, well, I, I want to say by a long shot, but they do do good damage. Oh, is that something there? Oh, no. I don't know who got to me first, I think it was the top enemy. Mega damage. So much HP. The oh yeah, I forgot to mute. I should have probably focused that guy first. Because if he muted Lamina, that would have been annoying. Alright. Okay, luckily I was able to... Pause the game before it touched me. Okay. It was only for 40, gosh, that's very outdated, but that's why I used it. I knew it was outdated. One more Grizzle Blade. I did not mean to do that. Victory is mine. There we go. I tried to advertise my stream and accidentally really minimized my my uh my browser I store. okay no one's dead as I alt tab back in good 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 When's the next wave of level ups? I need them. I need them. Okay, there's still one more enemy. I was hoping I could go straight to the chest that's right above it. All right, I'm really, I'm running really. I can't even talk. I'm really running low on MP. I'm gonna throw another catastrophe because of. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Aim for that guy first. 
I do not want to get my Lamina mu muted. Let's see if I can get this off. She's always last. She's so slow. Hopefully I can get this guy out of here. I'm pushing it to the corner, which I should have should have realized here was probably not gonna reach it. Especially I got paralyzed. Definitely not. Please let me Oh yeah, Lamina has a uh, mute resistance, doesn't she? I put oh. The game proved me wrong. No you didn't, you idiot. <laughs> ah lord. Oh god. This place sucks. This place is hard. This place is hard. Am I, am I getting a game over here? Can we kill these? Thank you for the crit. Can we kill three of these guys in this turn, please? No. And then I saw that I left alive. Oh gosh, I realized. I was like, I could probably do this. But then I looked at the eye. The Gorgon eye. Okay, hero got off his mute. Good, 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 good. These guys are so freaking fast! Oh my god, I hate this dungeon! Don't, don't die on me. <laughs> you just can't die. Please shut up, Ruby. <laughs> Please. Oh god, this dungeon's so terrible. Why do they like triple or Four times the uh, four times the difficulty in this like late game dungeon. It's so dumb. I hate that. I I just finished talking about how much I hate that. And this is literally a testament as to what I hate. God damn it! Where is the whole floor again? Ugh. God damn it! Uh, get these guys, they're turning red. And I just wait for like 20 minutes. <laughs> uh... Alright. I guess I I guess this is a good time to bring up a certain discussion. Um I wrote this on Twitter. Uh, two weeks ago, I think? Or a week ago? I think two weeks ago. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. So basically, um, it reminded me of it. But basically, uh, I would really love for JRPGs to forever let go of the you die, you have to load up your save file because of the game over taking you back to the title screen. How about that just dying, falling off the wayside, and never looking back at that crap. <laughs> and us just getting a retry. A retry option. You know, we can do the fight again. Or maybe just redo the current floor of the dungeon that we're on. You know, I did a state save and I've been saving very often. So I'm going to restart the whole floor. But like, uh, a retry option would be way better than just like, Oh, you died. Let's punish the player. Let's make him like... Who knows how much he's done? You know who mo who knows how much the player has done at th to this point, and and how far back their last save was. You know, just screw that. We're just gonna make him redo it all over again. I would really love for JRPGs to really let go of that nonsense. That's really bad. Um, not because of us, you know, players just kind of getting annoyed at the thing, at the option of it, but uh, that the of the of it being there, but like. Also being, um, being an easier time to let, like, people that don't really play JRPGs like that to really jump into the mix and just have some fun without so much of a massive penalty. Um, because, like, there's some games out there that do it 100% correctly. Like, for example, I always think of Persona 4 Golden. One of my favorite games of all time. That game, that game when you die, it's at, it allows you to redo the floor again. 
I don't know if it allows you to redo the fight, but it, it puts you back on the same floor regardless of how long ago you saved. There's a thing in Persona 4 Golden, you weren't able to save until you... Um, when you were in a dungeon, you could only save uh, before and after the dungeons. So, uh, it was always really rough because you want to save because you've done so much, but you can't because you're in the middle of the dungeon. You're in the middle of the run. So, I would really like to see that. Uh, just, you know, just die off because it's not a very good trend, honestly. I don't think it's a... I don't know why it's been a thing since the beginning of since the beginning of days, but I don't know. I'd really like to just the uh, I really like to just see that go. We are playing an old game, clearly a PS1 game, but uh, I know some recent games have uh, uh, put that into effect. The only one I can remember right now, unfortunately, is just is just, um, Persona 4 Golden. But there's more options out there. There's more, there's more games out there. And I know that we played one, too. One that did a really good exam, uh, a really good, uh, a really good example of it. Nice crit. I'll take care of this. Mm -hmm. You're so fast. The HP absorb came at the worst time. Now Jean would take all her three hits to kill it, making this a little bit lo a little bit longer of a stalled out fight. Man, holy crap! We need so many heals every single time. not prepping that crazy attack. And just like that, Gene's dead. <laughs> oh, God, it's so bad. All the characters I wanted to attack, the that eye up there died or got paralyzed. Jesus, 238. Calm down, buddy. Take him out. Nice. Beautiful crit by Ron Fire. Okay. Get a save in here. I've been state saving after every fight, but getting an actual real save in there is also a little bit more, uh, it comforts me a little bit more knowing that I have an actual save jotted down. Right. 
Do 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 do. Victory is mine. guide to make sure I'm not uh, missing anything and haven't passed anything. So if I go, if I sometimes appear silent because I'm reading it a little bit. The best time I can read is when my characters are attacking. Because there's some, I'm just watching. Get these put up in there. Um... Oh yeah, these two are next to each other, that's right. After these two, I will, I will be able to fight the one that killed me. Alright, let me continue reading this for a quick second here. I tune back in to see Lamina fall. Did she even? I don't even think she got her uh, free smash off, did she? Didn't she? Alright, we'll get this guy out of here. And hopefully we can kill the bottom one. Please target the bottom one. Hopefully it's not too fast. Hopefully Leo gets to go. Leo, Leo, Leo! Thank you. I just didn't want to get a hit. I didn't want to get hit by the freaking massive, you know, flashbang attack that blinds me. It hurts the player and hurts the characters. I'm pretty sure no one wants to see a massive blinding flash of white on the screen. Uh, heal Gene one more time. That's not enough. Considering how hard these characters hit, <laughs> not enough, <laughs> not enough. Okay, this is where I throw out a, a catastrophe. Oh, they don't like Ron Far. They don't like Ron Far. All of them hit Ron Far. In this house, we hate Ron Far. <laughs> the Paralyzed. That's so annoying. Luckily, they got that guy out of here. That was my goal. Get that guy out. And get Lamina to do Catastrophe. Because that guy would just mute Lamina potentially and then screw up the run. Thing is, this guy has so much, so much HP. Nice crit. And apparently, it has some pretty innate resistance that's like really potent because, like, I can never get enough damage with with Gene off. But Gene does pretty decent damage to almost anything else. Okay, this is the guy that killed me. <laughs> I'm saving. Let me make sure I survive this. It's the same layout. It's nothing like... It's nothing... Crazy, but... 
basically I had enough MP for for a uh, um, catastrophe. That would have been a catastrophe if I didn't. Oh, the Leo paralyzed. That's not good. Uh, Lamina might get paralyzed. Lamina might get. I mean, Lamina might get muted. She didn't. Thank goodness. Silver light, I was come on, I wanted defensive armor. Alright. Next four. Uh next floor. Next four. Uh let me save. Alright, some more enemies to fight. Another floor of just getting, of just trying to get through. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't have any MP. Jesus, should have paid attention. At least I got a grizzle blade. Hopefully we start leveling up after this, because I need it. Victory is mine. Okay. Now to wipe these guys. They're slow. Not l not slower than Lamina, but they're slow. Alrighty. Let me get the heels off. I just realized how, since the last time I saw our silver, we've had, we got us so much more, so we got a massive jump in silver. Wait, hold on, hold on. And I forgot to get Lamina's MP up. Oh, what is wrong with me? Why can't I remember these things? It bothers me so much whenever I don't remember, because it's like, I'm just being dumb. I gotta remember this, like, I need to remember this. Wow, that was not enough to kill it. Wow, okay. And the paralyze and the the death because they do so much damage. <laughs> Why does everything do so much damage? I'm losing it. <laughs> you gotta do, just gotta take it super slow. I just wish there was a shop, like a, a shop somewhere for like better gear. I'd feel better knowing I can I can, I can actually shave off 20 extra damage po damage points that I'll be taking if I could just get better gear. That would make me so much more relieved to know. You know, if, you know, if if I read somewhere like, oh, just your chance to buy some new weapons and armor on the on the guide, I'd be so thrilled.
Nice crit. Didn't kill it, sadly. I know it's, it go oh my gosh. I know it goes after Jean. So I wanted her to kill it, but look at how much extra HP it has. Take care of this. Dang, where's the level up? Come on. We are dying out here. We are struggling real hard. <laughs> really hard. I did not have to heal Lamina. Oh. I remember just in time. Um. Ice crit. Ice double crit. Instant poison. Ice crit. Victory is mine. And the crazy thing is, I'm gonna be potentially fighting a boss here with this MP. With this this amount of a struggle. I can't even imagine what the boss is like. I definitely need to go after this. Once I ex once I'm able to exit this dungeon, go straight into whatever the latest the late the late game town is and buy all the curatives. I need to do that. Nice. Bye. -bye. Thank you. I was about to say, don't let him do the AOE, please. The AOE heal would have been better here. Alright, next floor. What was in that room? What was in this room? Big open area? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I did a state save right before it, though. Let me pull that up. Uh. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna be buying all the star lights, so it's okay if I use them. Just don't use the silver lights. Not yet, at least. I wish I could put one more starlight on on Leo, but you know what can you do? Okay, let's be prepared. Let's do this. All right. Water Guardian. 
I know that we got this at the very end of the game, so this has to be ridiculously powerful. So I'm gonna be spamming that. Oh, Ellie, I mean, I'll spam it if it's good. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just keep Ron far in some heals. I'm gonna just have him heal. Probably do a white dragon protect this one time. White, a blue dragon palm. Some catastrophes. And flash blades. Blue dragon palm! Triple sword. 620. Oh! Three hits of crazy damage! Okay, I yeah, that's... For you, I can see why we got that so late in the game. Definitely, hell yeah. Now, lend me a hand here! Alright, so we'll be protected from one spell attack. Mega damage. I hope it lasts for more than one turn. Nice, nice. Triple Sword did more damage than Catastrophe. Okay, the White Dragon kicked in there. Uh, just cap us off, please. Blue Dragon We're doing some fantastic damage, I definitely gotta admit. Nice. I save this for you, infidel. I love this! Alright, we're all capped off. Mega damage! Mega damage. Nice. Okay, so it lasts for more than one turn, and yeah, you do get it protected. Okay, good. That's awesome. Hopefully this doesn't last long, otherwise I'll, I'll have to use an MP restorative. One of the silver lights, which I would like to save, because I don't know what the hell is at the end of this epilogue. I really don't, so... If it's something crazy powerful, stronger than Zophar, then... I want to be prepared. I save this for you, infidel! Now, lend me a hand here! Mega damage. Okay. Zone wide attack, which we were able to survive. Uh, Lamina only has one more catastrophe she can she can use. Um. Triple sword. Bam. 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 I save this for you, infidel. Hopefully every one of every one of our party members gets a an attack as strong as like triple sword and and uh, catastrophe. That's crazy. Mega damage. If I can have a whole team doing some ridiculously boss killing attacks like that, I would just be <laughs> I would spam those all the time on these bosses. I would love it. I'd love to see the numbers. Okay, my Leo's in a 
bubble? I can can I still heal him? I hope so. I'm gonna try and see. I only have one more triple sword, by the way. So low on MP now. Okay, I can heal him. That's good. Mega Magic Flame! Three twenty-five. What a decrease. Okay, an instant kill. Interesting. Ron Far, we need you, buddy. Need you, buddy. We need you. Gift of power. Heal. And none of us are attacking here, that sucks. I always hate doing turns when I'm not attacking. Unless I'm applying buffs and debuffs. Attacks. Leo with the same attack they used to bub trap him in that bubble. this boss fall. Nice crit. Happy hour. Mega damage. Also, can Leo get out of this bubble? <laughs> I'm losing damage every single turn. Oh, we did it! Nice! 60,000 XP. No money, though. Hero levels up to 55, uh, defense plus 3, speed plus 3, and magic defense plus 3. Ron Far levels up as well, gets plus 2 defense, a speed plus 2, wisdom 2, magic defense 3. Gene as well, defense, physical defense 2, agility 2, speed 4. Um, and Lamina gets a level. Uh, physical attack 2, defense, physical defense 2, um, wisdom 2, and magic defense 3. And Leo, uh, physical defense, uh, physical attack 2, I mean, physical defense 3, um, speed 2, and magic defense 3. Nice. Especially the magic defense 3 on, on Leo. It's something the character lacks. Alright, we did it. Nice. Uh, that wouldn't have been much... I went a lot easier than I expected it to go, to be honest. I did have to use a silver light, which I'm not very happy about, especially since it happened at the very end of the fight. I didn't really put any of it to good use. A dragon eye! I can't even interact with it. Oh, there you go. Left sapphire jewel obtained. One down, one to go. What do you think we should look, hero? See, that's what I hate. It doesn't even tell you. And where did the other path lead me to? So where did it go? I swear if this lets me to like a really crazy good item search. So what? I could have fought the boss. I could have just skipped the boss. I mean, I'm glad I didn't because that's... I don't ever like to skip fights like that. But that's... Interesting that they have that there. I guess one with a keen eye would see that, right? And people that don't really pay attention would not see that. Alright, well, we're out of here. Um, where are we going? 
leave the water ruins and head for Tabin's Peak, to, uh, Tabin's Peak so we can talk to Nal. Sounds good to me. I don't remember what Tabin's Peak... Oh yeah, it was in a forest. That's right. Tabin's Peak was in a forest. We gotta find that. I don't know. Oh, wait, I think I know where it is, actually. Yeah, I remember where it is. There's a shrine. But the first thing I am going to do is... I'm actually going to be uh, going upwards, because that led to a dungeon. Um, we're going to be going to a late game town and buying the curatives, because I need the curatives, like, now. None of these are really late game-ish. Uh, let me just... There's Vane. Mm-hmm. And then this led to, uh... Oh, uh, yeah, that... One fight with, uh... That's where the... God, what was that place called? Where the goddess tower... Athena's tower and all that was... Alright, so what is this place? Oh yeah, this is Moribia. If that's Moribia, let's not go that way. I remember this town, but I haven't walked inside of it to register it yet. I may need to come back here at a certain point. So it's good that I could just come here. But this isn't late game enough for me. A late, a good late game town would be like, um, what did we go to before we went to, uh, like Rakuli, yeah, like Rakuli. I don't know, I don't know if there's an item shop there. I'm trying to see what I can get around here, as I definitely don't have the the greatest memory to remember where everything is. Wait, is this Tabin's Peak here? It is Tabin's Peak. Okay. Did it register that? No, it didn't. Okay. And that, that town that I went to earlier was Azado. Do, 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 do. Hey kid, let me in. Yes, and the yes. I, I, we're not gonna be finding anything, so it's okay. I can just head here quickly and do what I gotta do. So what I gotta do is just talk to Null, which I know where he's gonna be. He's gonna be on uh, this side over here. He's gonna be in the center area here. No, I think this side actually. The center area leads uh, outside. It's at a rooftop there. Hey, you guys! Great to see ya. How's everything going? Hero, you look kinda bummed. What's wrong? Hero's bummed because Lucia went back to the Blue Star. What? She went back there by herself? But why? So, what are you going to do about it, Hero? I'm going to travel to the Blue Star somehow. I'm going to find Lucia and tell her how I feel. I should have known you'd say that, Hero. You might even be as brave as Alex was. Since I'm such a great guy, Hero, tell you what I'm going to do. I'll give you this sword to aid you in your quest. A sword? Use it wisely. Oh, Dina's sword! Pretty heavy, isn't it? This sword belonged to the last true Dragon Master and my best friend in the world, Alex! We're gonna get the sword from Alex from Lunar One. Be careful with it, hero, and promise me that you'll use it as Alex would have. You have my word, Nal. Thank you. I hope this is a massive increase. Eh, not really, but it does give a bunch of increases everywhere else. Plus five to everything else. That's pretty good. Well, some things get plus five, some... Well, 
Everything's kind of all over the place, but yeah. We get good stats all over, I like that. If you're trying to reach the blue star, you'll have to obtain his power somehow. But he won't give it to you without a fight. And he's not someone that you want to fight. Who are you talking about, Nal? The star dragon. He's not one of the four dragons of Althena. He's... He's different. You'll see. I sincerely hope you're strong enough to take him on. Well, could you tell me where he was? Thank goodness I have a guide. Leave tab and speak, and then head to the dragon ruins. Where... Oh, the dra oh, yeah, where I started the game. Okay. Do, 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 do. This music is so weird to me. It sounds so weird. <laughs> But what uh, it does rep, it does make uh, it does fit this environment because it does sound like kind of like a child singing, and there's just a bunch of ch uh, children here, and it's just this place represents a cheerful, playful kind of kiddish aura, or kind of vibe, not aura, but a kind of kiddish vibe, especially since Nall acts very kiddish himself. So I guess it's really fitting. Anyways, we're not going to go there right away. I'm going to go to Rakuli. It seems it's going down the list of how late game they were. Okay, thank goodness there is an, items, an item shop here. Hi, hi, come in. Oh yeah, I already read all this. Oh yeah, that's where I got the sword that I use right now. Which I'm about to sell. And all these old armors can sell as well. Buy all the healing nuts. But this isn't late game enough because the starlights and stuff aren't here. We gotta find another area. This isn't late game enough. Gosh, what was the last place in the game that you visit to get, um, to get items in? Oh, yeah, Ramus. Uh, Ramus was in... I mean, I don't think they're gonna... I really don't think Ramus is gonna sell you his stuff again. I really don't think Ramus is gonna sell you his stuff again. I think we talked to him last stream. Oh god, Ramus isn't here. Where would Ramus be? He'd be back in Moribia, wouldn't he? Well, like the Hobie's back in Moribia. Let me make sure he's not on the sides or anything. No, I don't think so. Moribia is a very... kind of early game area, so I kind of... It almost represents the halfway mark of the game. I can uh, hope that it's not selling, you know, items from that from that period in time when we were in the game. This is his shop, and there he is. My tunnels of terror are so popular that people come from all over the world to see them. I've already made enough cash to live comfortably for the rest of my life. Isn't it great? I mean, I like to raise the bet of the raise the stakes of our little bet. If you, build, if you rebuild the guild before my shop becomes the most successful store in the world, I'll donate all of my future profits to the Magic Guild. Mega cool. That's the kind of bet I intend to win, and I won't let you back out of it either. Great. And if I win the bet, you become my wife. <laughs> Fine, Ramus. Now don't distract me from thinking about holding all your profits in my hand. I become your what? Absolutely not, Ramus. <laughs> Sorry, Lamina, but you already agreed to my terms, and verbal contracts are in binding in Meribia. But don't worry. Whether you win or lose, the Magic Guild of Vein will be restored. I'd much rather that you lose, of course. You would bear me many beautiful children? Wow! You don't ever say that. You don't ever say that to a girl. I can't believe this. 
I am not, I repeat, not going to be the bride of Chunky. So is there something up with this place? Because he said he opened this up. This was always a dungeon. Oh, I see. Yeah, he did open it. But, uh, I'm just interested in, in the items, because I need items. Uh, this place doesn't sell items anymore. I mean, I don't know if it sold anything at all, actually. Damn. Alright, well, just take me back to Rakuli and, uh... God, wasn't Rakuli, like, the last town in the game, though? Obviously, outside of, uh... Damn, um... This definitely was the last town in the game. I'm almost sure of it. Where's my... Where's the dragon ship? Does it not follow you? Does the dragon ship destiny not follow you? Are you kidding me? I don't remember where I left it. You're out you're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. You're out of your mind. You're telling me the dragon ship destiny got left behind who knows where. I think it was at the water ruins. You're kidding me, game. Come on. No one thought about this at all? No one thought about this at all? Oh my gosh, it's not even here. Please don't take me to the top of the peak. Oh my gosh, it took me to the top of the peak. I'm gonna speed this up. No one thought in their right mind to do what any other game does. They make the vehicle follow wherever you teleport. That's outrageous in my mind. I can't believe that. That's a massive oversight on the dev's part. Let me find Rakuli. I don't know where the hell that is. Okay. I know what this is, though. Because... With this, you would take... The blue dragon was the first one you got. And then you went there, you got the aura for it. You got the power, and then you went down here. And you took, you went inside there, and you went through Neo, you went through Vane, and and all that stuff. Can you go inside Neo Vane? Uh, if I could, probably the other side. Nope. Does the item shop here sell anything good? I can't keep going with the rest of this game with the items that I have right now. I'll get obliterated. Oh my goodness. Please. Why did you put an NPC there where I gotta move to the right side? Will push me off the screen edge. I am so confused. I am so confused. Am I, am I? Oh, there they are. I was like, aren't the stairs over there? They're over here.
herbs, like, sure, but, like, that that's not important. It helps when you need just a tiny bit of heals, not that much, but... I'll take them, though, but it's nothing I need. So after you did the vein stuff, you would do... You would take the boat over to... Ronfar's area. Which was over here. And then that's Rakuli right there. That's where you would go and... Yeah, that's where the dragon was. What town was this again? Did we pass Moribia? This isn't Moribia. I don't remember what town this is, but what what did it, what did it even sell here? Probably not gonna be much because they're selling both armors and items. Yeah, no. And considering how small their shop is, they it's this is a very early game area. And I remember this. This is when we were still on the run from Leo at the beginning. Yeah, th your, the plot point would just be with Rakuli. Rakuli is the late game area. Uh, there's no shops inside the dragon ship, is there? Oh, those are not stairs. There's no one inside the dragon ship. What am I? What don't? I don't even have to check the rest of this. All right. Well, I guess I've just wasted 20 minutes. Clearly, trying to find something that doesn't exist out there because there is no item shop that sells anything anymore. I guess sells any of the good stuff. I just need. The Starlights, the, the MP Restoratives. Rakuli doesn't sell that anymore. And, uh... It was Ramus who sold those previously. Anyways... Um... Just do what we gotta do. I don't want to leave my dragon ship to who the hell knows where. But I don't know where the heck to get to, uh... I'll find it eventually. It's on the bottom right area. This is, this is a desert area, which is where, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. We're already here. I like to hope an item shop eventually opens up with some weapons and armor and items. But, uh... Things aren't looking that way, to be honest. Alright, we came here one time before and we got obliterated. So, uh, but we did get, we now have a full team and we did all level up two times at the very least. And we had a new weapon and some a new chest piece and a new headgear for uh, Alex. Uh, or uh, Alex Hero. So, we should be all set and well for this dungeon, hopefully. I don't know what kind of enemies are here. These guys look threatening as heck. They're fast. They don't hit nearly as hard as the last dungeon. What the hell? Double crit? These guys don't have much HP. 
It's just this dungeon looks much easier in general. Did Alex? Uh, uh, why am I saying Alex? Hero. Did Hero attack four times? Is this dungeon a lot easier than the last dungeon? Did they make it that way just so in case you wanted to do a solo Alex epilogue run? Is that why? I mean, you would struggle to go through the water ruins, but you could always run through it. Even give you the option to skip the boss. So my Leo, my hero. No, he attacked three times. He can only attack three times. I swear I saw him attack four times. But yeah, we don't have we never got to explore this dungeon before. This is actually a dungeon from the very opening of the game. The opening sequence. Okay, this looks scary. Like it's very scary. She could still three hit it. Oh my gosh. He attacked four times. It's the weapon. It's the weapon. Oh. It doesn't say that it's the weapon, but it's the weapon. The weapon is allowing me to attack four times. That's interesting. Yeah, this place is nowhere near as threatening as the, the last one. I guess this is literally if you wanted to do a solo Alex... Why am I saying Alex? Solo hero run. It actually sounds like a really cool difficulty selecting... A really cool difficulty uh, name. Solo hero. Solo hero difficulty. Yeah, I gotta stop that. My Jean and Ronfar don't do much damage at all here. I'll take care of this. I mean, I'm not gonna touch anything with MP related on my Ronfar besides his heals. Because I'm gonna. Since there were no um, item shops that would sell the Starlight, I'm, I have to really just play through this without any of that. So I gotta be very sparing with uh, how I use all that. I'm trying to fight all these enemies because I don't know what the heck is still here in the epilogue. So I'm trying to make sure everything is going to go smooth for us. I forgot to heal. Leo's over here dying. I forgot. I was hoping he would target the other guy. I don't know if the... I don't, Ronfar definitely cannot reach this. Oh, we don't even need him. That's alright. Yeah, this dungeon's way easier and I like that. Cause, uh, sadly, the XP's not that great uh, compared to the last one. But, like... Considering there were no item shops I could really use to replenish my uh, my stuff. Um, and considering how difficult that place was, I kind of want... You know, just a slight break, you know? <laughs> just a slight one. Anyways, let's try to prevent these guys. I'm doing full screen AoE.
Man, Gene does not hit these guys pretty hard, but luckily the crit will help kill him. Or not. What what happened the first time around? Did she double crit or something? Like Was that the reason she killed it? Meanwhile, meanwhile we got, we got Hero clearing up clearing every <laughs> every enemy out of his way. Yeah, I gotta kill those guys. Imme immediately. Because I'm gonna go through Ronfar's MPs if I have to heal from that every single time. These guys must just have some really strong mace and, uh, you know, punching resistance or whatever. <laughs> Because, like, our sword attacks still do fine on it. It's just whenever Gene and Ron for our attack specifically. I need a herb for this. That's why I use herbs. Uh, to get me topped up on, topped up on some stuff that I can, can't really get to myself. Is that dragon-shaped wall there important of any any significant? Yeah, she gets recycle these guys, or two if she crits, you know. All right. I like fighting these guys. Look how easy that was. Alright, let's see if this wall is of any significance. Not at all. Okay. I, th I, kn I thought that that was going to be of something important. This is the dragon ruins. I don't know. <laughs> nice crit. But she needs another one if she wants to kill it. <laughs> yeah, those guys are definitely the biggest threats here. Look how much damage they did. 120? Yeah, sure, it's nowhere... Still no okay, these guys Okay, flashbangs. I see. I think so hit hard. Not as hard as the last dungeon, but they hit hard. There you go. 4.9k, so the purple guys definitely give a bit more XP. Heal, Hero, and Ron Far. And Leo, actually. A wall on the right side, so we're going left over here. Here's the, uh... There's... I realized that none of the none of the enemies that we saw in the opening, well, I guess I guess the only enemy we saw in the opening, um, isn't here at all. I haven't fought any of those fireballs. Because there's like in the opening of the game we were being chased by some fireball enemies throughout this cave. Wow, the voice actor of Hero. Well, I guess, I mean, Hero his, himself, but from a third-person narrative kind of point of view, was talking about, Hey, my name is Hero, and this is Ruby, and everything. Victory is mine. Beautiful. 
We didn't even touch those guys. Those guys got one shot by Grizzle Blade. If the Dragon Ruins are as short as we saw throughout the opening, it should be a pretty short dungeon. There were only two, maybe three floors, which would be the shortest dungeon we would have we would be seeing from this this late out into the game. I love it. Look how quick that is. Alright. Yep. Yeah, I remember, uh, Hero... Yeah, I remember, hold on. As soon as I get out of this dungeon, I'll kind of talk about... I remember this area now. I 100% remember this area now. The first, the first room I did not... I did not, uh, recognize whatsoever. Uh, I don't know if the opening scene just kind of skipped that room, but I noticed this room. If nothing's changed from the opening die from the opening of the game, then the next room should be the uh, final one. But like here, here we go. Uh, so I kind of reenact it. Hero with Ruby was kind of running out through here, and I remember. Uh, uh, he went up here first, but then he saw a fireball uh, that was already a fireball monster was already there. He chased him. the The floor here broke. He jumped over it. The floor here broke. He jumped over it, and then he kind of ran off to the top right and exited out the dungeon. I remember. Okay, that that looks scary. Yeah, sure. So these guys are pretty fast. Nice crit! Double crit! Pistol <laughs> crit! Oh my gosh! Hero, what a, what a god. That free smash did not get put to any good use. Five point nine K, those guys by themselves drastically increased the XP. I know that so because of the opening, I know the top left door is the way to go. But obviously, you don't get to see the other areas. And there's probably some chests or something I'll be missing if I don't go uh, and check out these other floors. I don't know why I made Lamina, I mean, Lamina, Jean attack this thing when she doesn't do much damage to this thing for some reason. No kills. Wow. I'll take care of this. All right. Come on, let's see those level ups. I don't know how much 60,000 put us closer or further away from a uh, potential level up, but uh, still. I don't know how far we are, and I can easily just look. I'll take a look. Uh, hold on, let me just get these heals.
Uh, we need about... We need about, uh... Okay, for like hero to start everything off for everyone, we need kind of like 7,000. 6,000 actually. 6,000 something XP. What does this lead? Is this the exit? What is this? Oh. Maybe, I think that's where they went actually. They jumped out from there. Yeah, they jumped out from there probably. It didn't go to the top right corner. No wonder I didn't recognize the first room. Yeah, I already healed. But I didn't save. And yeah, this was the room where, uh... This was the final room where, uh, Hero got one of the Dragon Jewels. He left the one. I remember that clearly from the cutscene. When they were talking about at the epilogue, at the opening of the epilogue, that you were gonna get the uh, Dragon Eye Jewels, that was the first thing I remembered. I was like, th there was one that he left. There's one that I clear clearly remember him leaving. Gosh, they're faster than Gene. That's ridiculous. They don't look fast at all. Wow. Hero's unable to one-cycle it. It's slow, at least. I know it resists this, but hopefully it's enough to kill it. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, it doesn't even do damage. That's surprising. Also, the sword is healing Hero? I just realized Hero healed 44 HP. I think the sword is healing Hero. I don't have anything on that heals Hero over time. It's just, this sword is ridiculous. This sword is crazy. Okay, there's a room there. That that room was not there. Hey, you see that you see that where that wall right there is broken? That's where Hero came out of. So, yeah, we're not going to be going to the same easy shortcut route that hero took <laughs> sadly we'll have to go through our like five to seven floors like we normally do hey nice. I'll take care of this. All right, nice. Hero gets his level up. He gets his plus two physical attack, plus two defense, plus two agility, plus two speed, plus two wisdom, plus two magic defense. Really good level up. Everything was plus two. Ronfar also levels up. Gets a plus three physical attack. That's huge. Plus two defense, plus two speed, plus two wisdom, plus two magic defense. Everything but agility. Lamina, um, plus two speed, wisdom, and magic defense. Yeah, this is where they came out of. Kind of wish that they uh talked about it in a cutscene or something like that. That would have been fun. That would have been really fun. They're really just glossing it over, sadly. But that was like my that was my favorite cutscene in the whole game. 
to be honest. Outside of the really fun little FMBs that they threw um, throughout the game, I really love, uh, really just love the, just how much fun it was to watch that. Like, it just opened up the game so well, so nicely. Can she one cycle this? Yes, she can. Nice crit. Sorry, Jean. Yeah, you see, my hero got healed. He got healed to full. This weapon's absolutely insane. This sword is crazy. <laughs> this sword is insane. It gives you an extra attack that it doesn't even tell you on the status screen. And you get healed over time. Really good. It's really good. We should be getting our level up for Gene here. Depending on how much we get. No, no, no. We should get it. Like, absolutely we should. Yeah, see? Gene levels up and she gets another attack. Nice! She now will attack four times. And defense plus two. Defense ag ag agility two, I mean. A speed two. Wisdom two. And almost everything too, but Magic Defense 1. But she gets to attack two times now. That's huge. I mean, two times. She gets to attack an extra time, so she can attack four times. That's massive. That's huge. You know, it's always really good to get like a plus, you know, physical attack increases. But what's bigger than that is when you get an entire extra hit to, t to, to dish out to your... Uh, to the enemy. Like, that's huge every single time. Alright, so that's one hit. Two hits. She could three cycle this. And they get an extra hit on another enemy. It's so good. Nice, the crit was enough. the long way around compared to where Hero had to do. Oh, nothing over here. There's a chest there and I'm not seeing a single enemy. Hold on. I think I heard one right there. Okay, yeah, I did. Okay. I was like, hold on a minute. Let me save. And in the moment I press the... the save menu is I heard an enemy Okay 
Okay. Nice. Alright, let me heal Jean. She took two hits there. Okay, that's already where we gotta go. Hold on a minute. Let me go right side and try to see if I can make my way towards that chest over there. If there's a path that leads there from over here. You're not gonna reach those guys. I don't know if I played this right, but hopefully it all goes well. It's ears or whatever. I mean, it's ears. It's horns are glowing. I wasn't able to stop it. Oh, well. Hopefully Lamina goes and hits both of them. I don't think she will. No, only one. It wasn't much anyways. They resisted lightning anyways. Okay, it's definitely not over here. I do see a hallway from the right side of the screen. That leads me there. This dungeon is just so much more relaxing than the last. I am really appreciating it. Like, I'm heavily appreciating it. Nice crit. I thought he was trying to swing at the same enemy. I was like, wait a minute, is that a glitch? But no. <laughs> no, he's not. He knows what he's doing. Okay, this is what I don't want to deal with. Not what I want to deal with here. Can she four cycle this? The crit helps. Wow, Gene, your damage against these guys is so bad you can't even can't even take it out even with the extra hit. Now my Leo's dead. Uh, my Ron Far is dead. Gene, your attack is terrible. Against these guys? It's not terrible in general. It's not. <laughs> it's terrible against these guys. Yeah, I don't know what is it with this dungeon that... These enemies just, like, resist her attack. Her and Ronfar, specifically. Alright. There's a lot of MP there, I don't like that. Dragon armor. Another armor for a hero. Didn't I just get the... Didn't I just get that goddess armor? I 
I did, didn't I? Alright, before we go to the middle where we gotta go, where does the left path lead? I already said chest behind this enemy. So we'll go and we'll grab, uh, we'll grab that after this. extra hit, which will help Hero uh, take this guy down in one less hit. Yep. I wasn't able to prevent that one from doing that. That sucks. And we're gonna take a flashbang to the face. Oh, it wasn't doing that attack. What the... How can I tell which attack it's doing? Some... Is it when the... Does it do the flashbang attack when it's not glowing light? When it's not... Doesn't it have all the lightning forcing through its body? Alright. Leo, where's your level up? You could take one. Justice Rod, a weapon for Lamina. Right? No, it was not. It's a weapon for Ronfar. Okay, attack goes up um, like normal. Def it increases his physical defense. His wisdom goes down a bit, though. That's disappointing. And his magic defense goes up. Regardless, I'm taking it. Even if it's just for the physical defense. Even if it's just for that. Because I'm mostly not using not using him to attack. I'm mostly just using him to uh, uh, heal and do physical attacks to, you know, hold on to his MP. Hold on to his MP. Alright, we'll go right, I guess. And while we're attacking here, I'm definitely going to go and uh, advertise the stream because it's about that time. Let me go ahead and do that, so give me a second. If, if I stay silent, I'm sorry. That's what it is. the advertising so we're good to go let's do this again let's continue this uh oh already found the correct path okay let's go left let me see what's on the left did we take any damage at all i wasn't watching hero could take a heal the rest could take small heals but i'll use my herbs a little bit later fast. I'm pushing this guy too far out. I don't know if Hero will be able to hit it. Double crit? Triple crit? Okay, Le Hero is able to get all his attacks out. That's good.
outside of Ron for his heals, we've been saving up some pretty, um, some pretty good uh, MP. So we should be able to get to whatever boss is here, uh, really, really well. Like fight it off, just about, you know, even with it. We got this. We got this body armor for Jean. This scarlet wrap. And we'll save again. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> I'm laughing at the fact that uh, Hero went to the easiest, to the biggest shortcut of his life to this dungeon. Meanwhile, we as the player, when we go through it, we of course gotta take the long way around. We got two attacks that are about to destroy us here. I'd really like to have Hero go next, but I don't think he is. I think it's gonna be the guy who, who I don't want to attack. Oh, he was! Good, good, good. You can get rid of that guy. And that guy. Real nice. And Leo finally gains his level, plus two physical attack, plus two defense, plus two agility, plus two speed. And, uh, he gets a range increase as well. Nice. He'll be able to go a little bit further. I know he already goes kind of far, so that helps. It helps it out. Helps him out a little bit more, at least. I see a chest right in front of me. I do like the fact that I know that the post... The devs probably know that... The, that the post game is kind of difficult and there's no item shop to buy new weapons, armors, and items. So they put like all these, uh, at least weapons and armor. So they put all these, um, they put all these chests drawn about the dungeon so you can go and, uh, you know, kit it out. So you can keep up with some of the uh, later enemies rather than just getting, only keeping up with just level up. So that's pretty nice. Nice. I'll take care of this. There you go. No big deal. Six. It takes a seven. Seven hits, Gene. To take down that enemy. Enemy has a lot of HP, and she doesn't seem to hit these enemies really hard. A lion helm. That sounds like like Leo. Yep. Another chest. I like it. <clears throat> See a weapon for uh, Leo. And that would be nice. I did Grizzle Blade so I can try to take down the uh, Shadow Ball enemies in the back a little more easily. There you go. Archer Crest. Has to be like a range increase, right? Uh, where is it? Archer Crest. Allows long range attacks, but does not work with stabs. Okay. Allow long range attacks. <clears throat> I guess... They'll just be throwing things from afar. 
That would be pretty good for your, for Ronfar, for example. Like, he doesn't need wind magic. Uh, give him this. Archer Crest. Uh, he only gets, he gets put down by one, I see. He'll only be able to attack one time. Oh, that's not really... That's terrible. I don't... I'm, that's terrible. I'm not gonna waste his time. Okay. Nice crit. I wasn't able to prevent that. I was hoping Leo would go first, but... Oh well. Okay, so how far away is Leo, I mean not Leo, Hero, from a level up? The Goddess Gauntlet, nice. Haha, <laughs> a whole 50,000. It'll be a while. No, whoops. Ah, oh, whoops, my gosh, I wasted that. Luckily, it's only 4 MP. I don't know what I got uh, that will work on. That that will work on. Oh, it's for uh, Lamina. Alright, attack these guys. Those guys are all gonna go first, and the beam is gonna hurt. But, we can prevent worse things from happening if we can get these spinning purple guys out of here. She attacks four times, but I don't think she's still able to force cycle these guys. Oh, with the crit? Oh wow, not even with the crit. Jean needs a bit of help. Maybe a blue dragon palm is enough. I'll try to, I'll try and use that when we get into a similar situation next time. Are we there yet? I kind of want to hurry up and be there, honestly. Right now the game is like... Right now the game is just pure... Pure gameplay, no story. And while I do love the gameplay of the game, some, I do... I like JRPGs for their story, you know. I do want to play and experience a nice story. I don't want to just sit here running from dungeon to dungeon to dungeon to dungeon with like li little to no story and the story is like so vague it doesn't even tell you where to go can he do it yes he can I already saw the door. Oh, there's two doors. Hold on. There's two doors here. I'll take this one. Okay, they can lead to nothing. I see. I see what we're dealing with here. We gotta find the right door that'll lead us to, uh... 
to get out of here. I mean, right now there's only one pa one path to go. But that was just a little a taste test of what you're gonna be doing. I forgot to heal them. Oh, this is not good. Thank you for the crit, but my god. I messed up. Oh, nice crit. We're gonna have, we're gonna have a We're gonna have our, our We're gonna have some solos happening here. As long as I can prevent the beam, I, I should be able to do this. Or it uh, doesn't even matter. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. <clears throat> Hero is just that good. Alright. He's getting close to the point where I have to use a silver light. Okay, let me try this. Blue Dragon Palm. Let's see if that works a bit better. Hopefully she can kill it. Yes, thank you. that the blue dragon palm actually kills that enemy. I was like, oh gosh, I'm gonna just have to take the hits every single time, aren't I? Let me just get these heals off. If I'm gonna use a silver light, I may as well just use my MP... Uh... But I gotta be a little bit sparing with it. Gotta use the MP sparingly, but uh, with heals, it shouldn't matter too much. I don't think there's that much more to this dungeon. I mean, who the heck knows? Maybe there is. Hero had one hell of a shortcut that he took. Hell yeah. Nice. Now this doesn't really hurt much, so I don't really think this is gonna do much. Nope. Doesn't even hurt. Silver light, nice. That'll help uh, circumvent the one that we're about to use in a second for Ronfar. I think I should have made Leo attack the, uh, the speedy guys that just went. I can take these guys out, but I'll be leaving potentially one of those guys at the bottom alive. <coughs> Actually, no, I won't. But it's good that he would target that one because uh, I can prevent. Um, I can prevent. Uh, 
It can prevent, like, my turn from starting out with them hitting me, because they're just so fast. They're preparing their lightning attack, and I think the Shadow Orb is preparing its flashbang attack to blind us all. Which I'm really tired of seeing. The only time I want to see that is when I crit. That actually hurt Ron far. So when you don't resist it, it actually does some pretty decent damage. So many fights. So many of the same scenery I'm looking at. I'm kind of tired of it. I want to move on. I want to finish this already. I really want to finish this already. Come on, Leo. Alright, and then this is super effective. Ruby's clearing up house. She's just cleaning everything up. Okay, there's a door there. That's probably the one we gotta go to. Just a hunch. I pressed up on accident. Whoops. Wasted that. I know there's an, em an enemy over here because I saw it. I think up top is probably an item, potentially. damage on this big guy. Let's get those crits. Get those crits. Only one crit. That's fine. At least we took that guy out. Only two left. I think they're too spaced out to get hit by this AoE, right? Oh no, they're not. Good. So is enough. Ruby? No. Ruby? No Ruby. Okay. Yep, they're too fast. Alrighty. Was my hunch right? Oh no, there's another... Another door there. Let me check out this one my hunch said that uh, my hunch is telling me that this is the correct door but now that I saw that one I'm thinking that one might be it because that one's a little bit further of a walk yep I was right this doesn't even lead to anything there we go oh there's a boss there's a boss right there So we're going to Silverlight Ron Far. 
No one else really used MP besides Leo like two times, but that's fine. And we are ready to go. Man, there were nine floors here. That's crazy. Can we just run past this one? Oh, no, you can't. I was about to say, are we going to be able to do the same thing as the last boss to this one? Alright, so triple sword. This thing doesn't look like it's going to use magic, so I probably shouldn't worry about this. I'm going to buff... Nah. We'll just keep using Catastrophe. Uh, but I'll use Leo's buff. I forgot he... I always forget he has a buff. The damage numbers are beautiful. This should help. I probably will buff up. Um, hero's attack. Mega damage. I like how spaced out we are. Okay, what's going on? Emulator, don't die here. The catastrophe was gonna blow up the game as well. Oh, never mind. I'm over here talking about how, how, how I love how we're spaced out. And it puts us all close and buffs itself. Buff itself. Or if attack. Nah. Alright, hero. Here, take this massive power. Power increase. I want to know... I'm curious to see how long the, uh... Attack buffs. How long they last. I'm keeping note that it's like 620 to 640 damage. I save this for you, infidel. Gosh, that's terrible. Mega magic power! <clears throat> okay. 108. Oh. I see, uh, I see, I see, I see. I see. I now know what that was for. I now know. I wonder if you can prevent that and by just getting everyone to move back. But yeah, let me check. This is a really good way for me to test out and see if, uh, just see how long an attack buff lasts. Because I have no idea. This should help. Do, 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 Lady do, Luck, do. be kind! Anchor Dice is terrible, but... You know, whatever. It, it should be able to do a little bit more damage sometimes. Mega magic power. I'm gonna be wasting a turn, I realize. I probably should've just did a Catastrophe on this one. As if it's gonna pull us all in. And I probably should've just attacked. All right. Oh my god, I was trying to hit run. Whoops. Hero, just stay up there. Ronfar, you stay up there. Gene, you can back up over here. Lamina, you can go over here. And Leo, just back up a bit. All nice and spread, I like it. Okay, it is 
if you're in clo right in prox uh, close proximity. Okay, so that's one turn of attack buff. One turn of an attack buff applied. We'll see now. This is two turns of an attack buff applied. It should obviously still be applied. Definitely, definitely applied. It's doing so much more damage. I thought it was going to do like, you know, maybe high 600, low 700, but no, 880? That's crazy. Mega damage. Mega damage. Okay, that hurt. That hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. Four fifty one. Three turns. Three turns the buff is still applied. I save this for you, infidel. I love this. The healing's not gonna be uh, you know perfect, but Mega damage. Tranquilism is better than it used to be. His heals in general are better than they used to be. Now he, he can do 200 heals. 200 HP heals. I was hoping that was a single target attack, but I'm glad it didn't even hit that hard anyway. Okay, four turns. I realize, I guess the attack buff, I, I realize, I yeah, for you, the attack buff lowers over time. So it's not one of those, every single turn, as soon as it's applied, it starts dropping down your buff. I see. Damn, that sucks. That makes it much worse than I expected it. If it was three turns of an attack buff, you know, I'd get it. Um, because that's kind of common, but this is just an attack buff that goes down each time it was already applied, which sucks. It's doing the attack which is going to pull us in. Get all of our damage because he's not going to do any damage to us. Yeah, you see, we're dropping down in numbers every time. I save this for you, infidel. Ha ha! All right. Mega damage. Mega damage. Gonna pull us all in. Attack buff applied. Alright, hero, you're gonna go over there. Run for you're gonna go to that corner. Gene, you're gonna be right here. Lamina, you're gonna be all the way in this corner. And Leo, you're gonna be right here. Okay, I was, I was scared. I was like, wait a minute, is Hero gonna get hit by this? But no, we're good. Alright. Yeah, attack buffs and Lunar 
aren't as great as I remember them to be. Okay, we did it. Because the attack, the buffs going down every single turn kind of sucks. 55,000 XP, hero levels up and gets plus two physical attack, plus two agility, plus two speed, plus two wisdom, plus two magic defense, and a range increase. Ronfar gets a plus two physical attack, plus two agility, speed, wisdom, and magic defense. Jean also gets a level up, plus two physical attack, agility, speed, um, and a range increase. Lamina levels up and gets uh, agility, speed, plus three wisdom, and plus two magic defense. All right, we cleared out the room. We're gonna save. And we're gonna go in. Yep, this is from the beginning of the game. Would you? Oh yeah, the rememberizer. Yeah, because he grabbed the left one and then he fell from the ropes. Right opal jewel. It sparkles like a star. Do you remember the first time we found this room, Ruby? We were so... I think they accidentally put a... Uh, Ruby's character portrait instead of uh, a <laughs> instead of hero. Unless this might be unless they messed up and put uh, the name Ruby instead of hero. Either way, something's wrong here. You are so green. I think my ribs are still sore from that fall. Yeah, it definitely has to be a hero that was supposed to be there. We we're lucky we didn't get killed back then. We were such kids, but we survived, and now we're great adventurers. We did it, hero. Now we have both of the Dragon Eye Jewels. Now we can get into the Star Dragon Tower in the Starlight Forest. I bet Lucio will be surprised to see us. Alright, oh, hold on. Let me get out of here the way I know how. Alright. I was going to use the teleporter to get me out of here and into a safe environment. But then I remembered this game is uh, flawed to the point that the Dragon Ship Destiny does not follow you around when you teleport. Which is such an... It's such an oversight. That's huge. You can't just mess up. You can't mess that up. That's big. And I think this is where we're going. But I want to rest up. Where's a place to rest up here? I don't even know if I can rest up at his place. Uh, I mean, I could just rest up here. I think that's Starlight Forest. Because I remember when the first time you enter... I said it last stream, too. Um, but I remember the first time you enter a forest. Um, they're they tell you, like, hey, you know, you can't... We shouldn't go here right away. We should, we should come back later. We're gonna get destroyed here. And, uh... Now I, I think it's this forest. This is the first forest you ever enter. So I think it's this one. The other forest is Tabin's Peak. I mean, I could be wrong, though. They said Starlight Forest, right? I'm gonna... I'm gonna see. I don't know if this is Starlight Forest, but I think this is the correct place. Let me go in and out real quick. I don't think this is going to tell me the, lo the name of this place. No, it will not. I'll have to just go in. I think I'm pretty sure that's the place. When's the DDR stream? Never. <laughs> Let me avoid these guys. Oh, I can't avoid that guy. I definitely don't play games like that. The only only rhythm games I really play are like Jiku Hatsune, which for some reason you can't even stream that because like the music gets muted. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. <laughs> There's no way I get, I'm getting past this. <laughs> they cornered me. Jean's 
was just like, everyone just get back, I'll take care of this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the entrance to that forest was on the left side somewhere. Gosh, I was not gonna survive. I was not gonna dodge that guy. Alright, Gene. Take him out. Alright, um, I'm pretty sure this is the, the forest that I remember it. I could have sworn it was at the beginning of the dungeon where they tell you that too. But maybe not. Let me just keep going through it. Like, what's over here? Wait, was this it? Because, didn't we just... Uh, I don't remember this at all. But this is the place. I know these stairs weren't here before, Hero. But why are they here now? Hero, look at that! Here we are, Hero. The Star Dragon Tower will take you to the Blue Star and to Lucia. I still can't believe my mom never told me about this place before. That mega meanie. But, uh... I don't see a way for us to get inside, do you? Hey, Hero, Hero, doesn't this dragon's head look familiar to you? It sure does to me. Where have I seen it before? Oh, of course! It was at the entrance to the Blue Spire. Oh yeah, you're right, Ruby. And we opened the dragon's head with those two dragon eye jewels. Just like the jewels that we have. I think we both know how to get into this tower now, huh? Pop the jewels into the dragon's eyes, Hero. Alright, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing the correct thing. Yeah, this, I'm, do, I'm doing everything correct. This is... I was just making sure that the game didn't be like, Oh yeah, you should go over here first, because now there's new weapons and armor. I didn't want to over... I didn't want to just skip that detail. Last Sapphire was Jewel was wedged into the socket. Right Opal Jewel was placed into the socket. Huh! <laughs> Look, Hero! We di Oh my god, I think they did it again. Look, Hero! We did it! Now we can get inside! We're some team, huh? They messed up two times now. In the past five minutes. Welcome, intrepid adventurer. Ye who holds the star pupil and seeks guidance to the blue star. If true courage dwells within thee, the path shall be revealed to thine eyes. But if thou dost not have a mind and body of sufficient strength, thou shalt draw thy final breaths within this tower. I have the strength and I have the courage. But can we hurry this up? She is waiting for me. Very well, courageous one. Reveal the power of your heart. It's just like Mother said. This is definitely the way to travel from the Lunar to the Blue Star. There's only one task left, Hero, and that's to find the Ascent Dragon. So let's work all. So let's all work together and make it happen. <laughs> Meanwhile, the entire time I'm thinking that that thing was talking to us, but no, it's just a monster ready to pounce me as soon as I, as soon as the dialogue ended. Anybody weak here weak to any element? Oh, the back guys, I mean. I don't really know uh, how strong these guys are, but just you, as I always do, do a free smash just to test the water. Okay. 
Those guys are very fast and they hit hard. Okay. And those guys paralyzed. Gosh. Alright, we're back to the hard stuff now. We're clearly back to the hard part of the game. Guy that I'm not missing anything. how the game and the guide is like oh yeah some new dungeons opened up um but it doesn't even t what a great guide to the point that it doesn't even tell you where the hell they opened up it just says after you finish them come back i'm like are you kidding me if you're not gonna be if you're not gonna write the guide well enough to tell me where the hell they are why am i gonna want to go out there and search the world by myself i'm gonna look for a new guide or skip this entirely Gosh, those guys are fast, so I should not be targeting that guy. At least he only attacked one time. Okay, these guys are very... As they look like they are, they have a lot of HP. I killed only one single enemy. Okay, two. I'll take care of this. Okay, good, good. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to prevent that guy from blowing anyone up. Yep. Blows up hero, luckily he, had, he hadn't gotten touched yet, so he had full HP. There you go. And Leo gets to level up. Leo gets plus 3 physical attack, 2 to agility, 2 to speed, 2 to wisdom, and 2 to magic defense. Alright, so we're back to the hard stuff of the game again. Okay, tons of enemies all over the place. I see. I see, I see. Ah, oh, gosh, it's all of these guys. These guys are all gonna go... We're not gonna be able to do a damn thing. Hopefully, we suffer minimal damages. Come on. Can she one side? Okay, I was about to say, can she one cycle this? Like, it takes forever to take out one. And I'm getting unlucky without. And I'm mine. not getting any crit. I'll take care of this. 
51, that's pretty bad. like the first dungeon that we entered in this stream baby steps Just take this slow cuz this is a uh, a rather uh, powerful dungeon tons of strong enemies very quick enemies too I like that she, I like that she crit on the last hit when it didn't even matter anymore. Now I'm getting lucky with the crit. Look at that. Victory is mine. Nice. Andy was able to reach, that's good. I'll take care of this. These guys are weak to this, right? Ah, uh, no, they're neutral. Actually made him grizzle blade. Luckily, I killed it. There's one enemy over here. I'm making sure I get. Gotta get all the XP here. We need it. Once again, we need it. I think these guys aren't doing their crazy attacks. Kills Gene immediately. Jesus Christ. Every single one of them hit Gene. He only hit Gene. Hero, go to that, go to that guy over there. Nice, double crit. Dang, I was hoping at least the double crit would be enough to let him go back to the to the mirror enemies and attack any of them. Hero running from full screen away. All right, those guys are all taken care of. They're suffering heavy losses every single time after every fight, especially to Ron Far's MP. And yet again, we find ourselves in another long and difficult dungeon. I'm kind of, I'm kind of uh, growing tired of it. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I really do. I wish the epilogue had some story elements to it. It just feels put together last second. I don't know. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't really feel amusing or entertaining in the least. Jesus, that killed Ronfar, 226 damage. And those guys are annoying. I'm gonna target those guys anytime the uh anytime there's no 
Not too many of the mirror enemies. Come on. Are you kidding me? single fight has to have four of these guys, don't they? It's pretty annoying. They just blow you up at round start. <laughs> round start. And they don't even allow you to get like a turn in before they get to go. They just start in, you start their battle, you start the battle, and then you put your commands and then they all go way before you. So you can't really do anything to stop them at all. And then there's, this game doesn't have any sort of like speed priority kind of move. It doesn't have anything like that. That dodge was really annoying. Because that second hit should have killed it. Now I gotta take a hit from it. And I can't do anything about it because like I just finished explaining. They're too fast. Okay, those guys have a lot of HP. It don't. I hero could barely even uh one uh take it out in a full cycle, in a full combo with Gene's help. Please stop fighting these guys, please. Ah, uh, starting a battle and being forced to watch five enemies go and destroy you. It's really annoying. I don't like it. Victory is mine. Nice. Good, good, good. Fed this up. Thank you. We gotta go. We gotta get back on the heels. There's the whole dungeon is just filled with these guys. I can see one up there and on the bottom right corner. Oh god, the devs knew that. The devs knew how annoying these guys were. They knew what the hell they were doing. The devs knew what they were doing. Oh my god, and there's four of them charging the big attack. I'm so over it. We just got here and I'm over this place. Golly.
Grizzle Blade. Ron Far, come on. I'll take care of this. All game long, Ron Far's range has been absolutely pathetic. All game long. I thought at one point it would get pretty good, but no, it, it never does. His range is just terrible. Without Crest helping him, he just can barely reach any enemies physically. And that. I'm gonna end this fight immediately. I just wish I could go immediately. Taste my anger. Bam. I wish Gene had more MP to play with. And I could just use so many of those. But he doesn't have very good MP. Like, it might be considered average. But to me, it's just so low. It's very low. Alright, we got a. Uh... Nah, actually, focus on, uh... Sorry about that. Um, focus on taking these mirrored enemies out of the way, because... I don't want them to go to their... I don't want them to go next on their, uh, next turn. I don't want them to go first on the next turn. If I can take them out now, that'd be awesome. Okay, they're not as slow as I thought. They're not slower than Lamina like I thought they were. They're slower than Hero. But faster than Leo and Ron Far. Do we have enough damage output to take these guys out? Thank you for the crit. There you go. So how close is my next level up? Let me check. Oh, actually, literally... Oh, yeah, that's not a thousand. That's, uh... Yeah, the next fight. Next fight, because I'm getting like 6,000 apiece, so next fight. I'll be leveling up hero next fight. Okay. More of these enemies that suck so much. I think if I want to go faster than these uh, um, glass-looking enemies, I think the only real way is to swap up my my crests around um, to give me more speed. Um, 
allowing me to do like a blue dragon fist turn one and one shot them I think that's potentially the only way unless they have so much more speed then probably not Gosh, some of these fights just take a while. Alright, like I said, Hero got his level up. A plus two physical attack, plus three physical defense. A two to speed. And two to magic defense and plus one to everything else. So now that Hero got his level up, we should be getting uh, Ron, Fars, Lamina's, Jeans, pretty much everyone's. Except Leo's, because Leo's is a bit gapped out from the rest of the team. <clears throat> I know I'm, I'm going to be completely wrong about it. <clears throat> I know I'm going to be proven wrong, no matter what. But I do wish that this dungeon was... I do hope that this dungeon is, like, <laughs> much, much shorter than the rest. Like I said, I don't think so. Did I make anyone target the glass enemy in the middle? Okay, good. Because I don't want it starting next turn going first. And these guys have some pretty good HP. But, we'll be able to take them out here. One of them goes down. Ruby helps put one down. Alright, Lamina gets her level up and gets uh, plus three physical defense. That's really good for her. A uh, two to speed, two to magic defense, and a range increase, which matters nothing to her because she stays put all game long. Let me heal my hero before I forget. And my Leo. Okay, these guys are back. These guys are threatening in every other part of the game. So I gotta be careful for these guys. I gotta watch out. When their cannons are lighting up, which all three of them are lighting up, um, they're gonna throw their, uh, their projectile, which does zone-wide damage. And does a lot of damage, too. Yeah, you see? And it even mutes as well. Yep, just like the just like the previous ones, they also muted as well. Beautiful crit. Unable to reach that one. Hopefully. Oh my gosh. We took needless damage because I, I should have targeted the correct enemy. I made. Okay, those guys. Oh my god, 10,000 XP. 
Okay, Ron Farb, um, plus three physical defense. That's good for him. Um, some speed and two to magic defense. Gosh, I'm already over this. Like I said, I'm already over this dungeon. This dungeon's is rough. And then there's three enemies in front of me. I'm not even looking forward to any of it. Concussion sword sucks. What the hell is with this move? Every single thing in the game resists it. This thing is terrible. Alright, I used two skills in this one. Hopefully that helps get most of these guys out or low HP. By the time we go to the next turn, because I don't think they're gonna kill him. That does so much damage. Grizzle Blade even happen? Oh no, because Leo's paralyzed. I see. Come on, Gene. Uh, speaking of Gene, Gene gets a level up, plus two physical attack. Plus three physical defense, two to speed, and one to everything else. Lamina and uh, Leo are really low. Um. I'm gonna be sure to Grizzle Blade. I think I've heard this battle theme a bit too many times this stream. It's like getting to me, I'm just kind of over it. Okay, Grizzle Blade. Put in the damage, so everyone should be pretty pretty low now. I'll take care of this. Alright. I made someone attack with magic. I think it might have been Leo. Hopefully we can kill these guys before he does his skill. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Alright, give me a second before I fight this next guy. I gotta use the bathroom real fast. Let me just get this heal off so I don't forget it. Yeah. Alright. Okay, game. Thank you so much. Alright, I'm just gonna put it here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, BRB on the screen. Alright, guys. I'm gonna BRB real fast. This one is the uh, restroom. And I will be right back. I might even fill up my water cup. 
Probably not, because I don't have much to stream anyway. So anyways, a BRB. Alright, I am back. Sorry about the wait there. I got myself a, I got myself a soda to wake me up because I am rather tired. I've been falling asleep around this time lately, uh, this past couple days. So I guess, I guess it's caught up to me, right? I guess my body's just been, you already got used to falling asleep at this time. That it's just telling me, my body's just telling me, hey, go to sleep already. No, 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 no. I just get grab this soda to wake me up. I need more than water. So, anyways. Let's see if we can get these guys out. I don't know how much HP these guys have. Clearly, they have some pretty decent HP. It's the fact that uh, she's unable to one-cycle it. We got three crits straight with Hero. That's ridiculous. Hero just goes on a tear and he's every single time. I the free smash. Okay. And both of these guys should be low. At least the bottom left guy is. So the hero and maybe just Gene. I was about to say hero and Gene combo. Let's take him out. Yeah, we need a hero. 10,300 XP! This 
place is amazing for XP. But farming here would suck. You'd, you'd have to like leave the, leave to go get some to get rested up somewhere and then come right back here to go and uh struggle because the enemies are just faster than you. Okay. Nah, get these guys. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the fist attack. Um, so after these glass enemies go, we're gonna kill them all and do some really amazing damage on the those golem, those golem enemies. Taste my anger. Yep. And then a one shot from Hero is all it took. That move is amazing. But it costs 32 MP to use it, so <laughs> it better be it better be uh, costly. If something costs a lot of MP, it better be useful, right? I don't like the fact that they're weak. Uh, they resist magic. Cause I really want to use free smash quite a bit, but I really can't. I'm really unable to really use it. Um, because magic is so good in this game because you get to just clear stuff really easily. But, not here, not in this, not in these couple dungeons that I've been in. <clears throat> these past couple dungeons that I've been in, everything has been resisting, uh, magic pretty hard. They've also been, they've also, I think, been resisting, like, genes. And, uh, Ronfar's attacks as well, because, like, um, I know Jean does not do that much less damage than Hero. I know she does hit in the hundreds, or close to the hundreds, but against these enemies that we've been seeing all stream long, pretty much, well, except for a very small handful, um, we haven't really been able to hit the damage numbers that I've seen from Jean very consistently. We're doing, like, like, for example, this. We're only doing 50. Like, that's terrible. 50 is a terrible number to hit. Meanwhile, you have Hero just running in doing 120 each slash and just cleaning up house way easier than Gene could. Like, what's the difference between their stats of their physical attacks? Uh, 269. And 194. Okay, there is quite a gap, actually, yeah. But this doesn't make sense. Because Ronfar hits harder. Ronfar... Uh. How does Ronfar hit harder than Jean, but Jean hits harder? I don't really know how this works. All right. Mm. All right. Free smash is pretty effective against these golem guys in the front. It's a, it's a full skin AoE, so I don't think it's gonna do that much damage, but... Nah, I could be wrong. It could be doing at least 300 apiece. I would love for Leo's next level up to get another, uh... Another attack added to his, uh, hit counter. So you can hit three times. Yeah, at least 300 damage. That's not bad at all for a full screen AOE doing that. That's actually really good.
All right. <clears throat> so, next floor. I don't even know what floor we're on currently, but I know it's pretty early in. The fourth. Uh, I, that's a little bit better than I thought. I thought it was going to say the third floor. But this, this dungeon is just filled to the brim with enemies. A good free smash to take care of those uh, golem guys. Tab to look at a message that I got sent, but did we not hit the? I don't think we hit the golem at all, did we? I don't think so. Okay, these. Okay, that guy definitely has so much uh, HP. Leo got to level up, and he does not get the attack counter that I really wanted for him. <laughs> it's, I didn't expect it though. Um, plus three physical defense, uh, two speed, and uh, one everything else. Not the best level up, sadly. Okay, the cannon guys are actually not going to shoot. Um, their, uh, cannons are not lighting up. So I don't have to worry about that right now. Um, let's focus on getting these glass enemies out of the way. Um, but I'm gonna blue dragon fist. So I guess targeting all these guys with the other teammates doesn't even matter. But there's nothing we can do. We gotta just take all these hits. Good stuff. Get a crit? No, oh, we didn't even need it. 10,800 XP. When Leo levels up, how far are we away from a level up ourselves? I think it's pretty significant, right? Yeah, pretty far. Like 60 to, 60 to 70,000 XP away. So it would take a while. Trying to hold on to Leo's MP, sir. Because if I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a boss at every single one of these dungeons, so I want to hold on so I can use this flash blade in the boss fight. I'm already kind of limited on his MP. I wish I could use Hero's MP a bit more, but to be honest, like I want to use it for full screen AOEs, but it's he has two full screen AOEs. One is magic related where he uses wind and it's terrible. And then the other one, the other one is concussion blade and that thing sucks. Everything in the game resists it. I don't really see the point of it. Should be able to take this guy out with Gene. Yeah.
Ron Far, get your heels. Gene, get your heels. And Leo. Oh my god, there's four of these stupid enemies! Game Arts knew what the hell they were doing. They knew that what the hell they were doing. These enemies suck so much. These enemies are so freaking annoying. They knew what they knew. Game Arts knew what they were doing. I wouldn't mind these guys if they didn't go first. Like, they go first every single fight. It doesn't matter what level ups I might get for my gene to make her go first. They're still fast. They're still too fast. Like, I want to minimize the damage that I take when I'm dealing with all these enemies, but I really can't. Them going first really kind of forces me to take the damage. Alright. Let's move out of here. I have, like, three of these guys to freaking the fight and it's annoying uh run far as well Yeah, I've been, I guess on a side side note, side topic here, I've been falling asleep at around this time lately, which is pretty extremely early compared to what I normally stream, because I'm a night owl, but I have not been proving that in the slightest lately, and so, um, once I hit that 11 o'clock mark in my time zone at least, a 30 minutes ago, like, a sudden urge to go to sleep just really hit me. So grabbing this soda is really helping right now. Helping me stay awake and breaking free from the early sleep schedule that I'm trying to I've been trying to stop. I've been going to sleep at that time because of work, but Um I shouldn't have to do that too much. I shouldn't have to do that really anymore. Wow, uh, surprisingly, my hero and Jean weren't able to kill this thing. It'll take I'll a magician. Take <laughs> Not even. It'll take a baby dragon? Yep, a baby dragon. Gosh, I thought I already took out three of them. Nope, I've only taken down two of them. I just want to get out of here, please. Uh, I want to spend the MP so bad, but I gotta wait. I should hold.
Nice crit. And ice arrows. I chose ice arrows because it's a really strong single target attack. So I can at least knock out one of them, yeah. There we go. I was about to say, please don't keep it alive. We've been swinging at this guy for a while. Wait. Uh, give it to Hero as well. I'm just so not used to saying, uh, Ron Far Heal 165 HP. He's o. He was like healing just barely 115 not too long ago, and now look at him. Now he's doing some pretty good damage. I mean, some pretty good heals. God, if somehow these gr uh, these. Uh, Lunar Games ever came back, they would definitely need, um, they would definitely need the Turbo Mode. Like, it's, like, it's just a must. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. It needs the Turbo Mode. I really only felt this way until, I never felt this way until now. Because the thing is, Throughout the main game, I'm not just freaking fighting non-stop like this, like, uh, this, uh, this epilogue has me doing. Um, this epilogue is just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of boring to me. Like, I like the plot, the overall plot of it, and seeing what's gonna happen and how we're going to do it. But, I don't like that there's, like, no story and it's just all fight. Fight, fight, go into the dungeon, fight for, like... Fight for like an hour and a half. Get to the end. Fight your boss. Now you're gonna go to this next dungeon where you're gonna do the same thing. Fight for an hour and a half until you reach the boss. It's like every single time. I'm really tired of it. This is the only one time I really realized that I, this game needs a turbo mode. Uh, it needs a turbo mode. And you're just constantly fighting non-stop. Especially in this dungeon where everything is just so close together. Everything is so, like, small and tight, and so the enemies are kind of just spread all over the place. So it doesn't really feel like you're making much progress into the dungeon because it's a small area. But they put so much- they put the same enemies all over the place. But like, but like with this dungeon, it's like everything is so small and compact and uh, just small, pretty much. So, but they kept the same number of enemies that you would see in a normal dungeon. So it's like every single turn you see two to three enemies, uh, like like so, kind of ganged up all over on top of each other. And then the thing is, you got to fight these enemies to actually see what the hell is around the corner. Mm 
We may have to use that silver light a little earlier for Ron Far. Which is something I'm not happy about. Kill the two golems. I think. Maybe just the bottom one. Okay, the both of them. Good, good, good. Actually, let me actually look at how close I am to leveling up with Hero. Once he starts the, once he starts, he starts the chain of level ups. Oh, very next fight. Yeah, ne very next fight. Okay. Did I need to heal? Yeah, I kind of did. We're gonna be able to finish the uh, epilogue in this stream. It's not a very long epilogue at all, but what the guys don't tell you is how long these dungeons are. I'm also could have been at least 20 minutes further ahead because I did get that game over um, in that first dungeon. I think it was. Sure, would hit both of them. Yep, but I don't kill I any of them. I guess I didn't get my level up for hero there. I guess it's in the next one. I needed just a bit more XP than I expected, I guess. Hey, you see what I'm talking about? How the dungeon is just so small. And they didn't load the enemy, the enemy count, so they just bunched up a bunch of enemies in a corner. And e around every corner, I mean. I wanted the Grizzle Blade so bad. <laughs> I gotta conserve the MP though. God, Gene, your damage is so insignificant at this point in the game. I don't know why. Free smash. Oh, okay. I thought my, uh, I don't know why I thought my Lamina was muted. I mean, paralyzed. It was Gene. Knock these guys out of here, please. And Lamina's dead. Fan freaking tastic. Let's 
And then I saw that immediately after this was another anime. Uh, I'm getting so sick and tired of it. Too many enemies. But yeah, I only have uh, I only have 15 minutes left on the stream. So I'm gonna try to at least finish off this floor, and then considering just how much left, how much left of uh, the guide is is both well, left, um, there isn't too much of the game really left for us to actually finish, or actually do. I mean, because we're at the very end, um, not very, very, very end, but like we're just about there. a final two to three hour push you know but I don't really have the time to do another two to three hours um, I'm also tired and also uh, I definitely want to beat the game and then get on to starting the making the making of Lunar 2 bonus this content so you can just go ahead and have a laugh together and have and enjoy some fun times and seeing how the game was made uh, physical attack plus two for hero, two to defense, two to agility, um, two to wisdom. You got the level up I said he was going to get. But yeah, uh, I don't have much time left, so I'll at least try to finish up this floor. Just going to get past all these enemies. All right, those guys aren't shooting. That's good. Thank you. over there getting messed up. <clears throat> Alright, and because these guys are in the fight, the XP is going to be really, really high. But I gotta actually manage to take these guys out. My god, holy hell. Yeah, 10k XP. Ron Far levels up, plus 3 physical attack, 2 to defense, 2 to agility, um, 2 to wisdom, and a range increase. Good, because he needs it. Lamina levels up as well and gets a plus 2 to defense, physical defense, uh, 2 to agility, 2 to wisdom. And all that's left is uh, Gene to get one, and then uh, shortly. A little bit later down the road is, uh, Leo's. Uh, two more enemies in front of me. At the very least, I can see two. Beautiful crit. Beautiful double crit. You get to go straight to the next enemy. I love it.
All right. Beautiful crit. So, still survived all of her attacks, though. And Jean gets to level up, plus two to physical attack, two to defense, two to agility, a two to wisdom. I'm glad she at least got a plus two at the very minimum with her physical attack, as that's pretty bad right now. Alright, this is going to be our last enemy for the night. So let's wrap up these enemies pretty quickly here. I didn't even heal. Whoops, I definitely messed up. And there goes my Leo, because I messed up. I was about to question if she could one cycle these guys because I've I don't even remember already. But she crit it, so never mind. Hero over there taking up all the uh I'm putting all the damage in place of Leo's dead body. The double crit is not enough. Goodness gracious, Gina. You need some help. I don't know what is it with this point of the game, but everything... Everything you do is just isn't strong enough unless you're using a... Blue Dragon something. Alright, let's get our, our heels off. And we're gonna go through the door. All right, like I said, guys, this is gonna be we're gonna be this is gonna be where we're ending it. Don't know how many floors are left, and then we got a boss at the very end of it. But at the very least, we went through quite a bit today. Um, it didn't feel like it because of these how massively long these dungeons are. But regardless, we're gonna be doing we're gonna be finishing off the epilogue at the very next uh, stream, which is gonna be tomorrow night at the same time at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, by the way. But um, so if you want to be there to see the very very ending of the game then you know be there at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and also after that as soon as we beat the epilogue I'm going straight into the uh, um, The making of Lunar 2 bonus disc. So if any of that interests you we're gonna be doing all of that tomorrow um, But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and see who I can raid here Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and raid a uh, background guy background guy um is streaming Fantasy Star 4, the end of the millennium. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and send the raid over. So anyways, I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow, once again, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, be there, because we're going to be beating the game and checking out the making of Lunar 2. That's going to be a lot of fun. Take care, guys.